70 bits. Oh, boy. Skeleton. Skeleton. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'd buy that for a dollar! Belligerence? That's my middle name.
fade out. There it goes. Let me turn this shit back on. Let me turn this up. Let me turn that off. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Punky Crisps. Thank you for the follow. Space Hopper Copter. Thank you for the 70 bits. Oh, boy. Skeleton. Sire Forsetti, thank you for the Prime Gaming for two whole years. I see! 70 bits, oh boy! Thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Nothing Excess, thank you for the 100 bits. Dick Debonair, no, thank you for the 30 whole years. Steph Yesterday, thank you for the follow. Super Unknown, thank you for the host. Kaku Epsilon, gifted a sub to Stream Hat Man. You're back from Hollywood? I, I can't see. I can't see you. You're too Hollywood. <laughs> Scarf to Smith, thank you for resubscribing for 26 whole years. Club Sodar, thank you for 34 whole years. I think... That's everything. Uh, scroll down. Akari Leo, thank you for the follow. I think that was yesterday, though. Super Saiyan Jacob, thank you for the host. Howdy, gamers. Uh, it's been a weird week where I've not had that much time to prepare things for streams this week because I was watching Evo all of last weekend, and then I was watching Dino Rex. <laughs> I was watching the Dino Rex tournament yesterday. <laughs> is gonna be Sorry winging shit. My money. Hello. We're calling because it's been two weeks, yeah. and still no one has taken the referee's call. The stank has now attracted wild dogs that have taken over and nibbled the body, but not enough of it. Please help, <laughs> there is a $30 Popeyes gift card as a reward. Yeah, our referee is still out there. The Taekwondo for Super Nintendo ref, he's still he's decomposing in the arena. Someday, well, they'll, they'll clean that up, I'm sure. Anyway, yeah, we're just kind of winging shit today. We're just gonna rapid-fire look at a bunch of shit today because I was too busy watching the Dino Rex tournament to prepare all that much. Uh, my apologies. We're playing some belligerent ball games today. We're gonna play... Every single game we're playing today has the word ball in the title, which makes it, frankly, sound like they'll all be sports, but some of them are not sports. They just happen to have the word ball in the title. Like Plasma Ball, for example. This is a Jalico joint for the Famicom. Exclusively the Famicom. I don't think this had an English release. There's an English uh, translation patch. There's an English fan translation. But I can't be bothered fucking around with BPS files. So in ignorance, we're just playing the Japanese one. I'm sure it'll be fine. Marry me with my money. I don't understand why they're called ball games when you could be calling them the Orb Olympics. Wasted opportunity. I'm gonna write that down. You're actually... You're, you might be onto something there. Hold on. I'm gonna write that down for the... For the YouTube description. Later. Write that down. There we go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you for the dollar dude. Thank you for the 100 Orb Olympics. Let's play some, uh, Plasma Ball. How are you all doing today? And a, a very merry Dino Rex it was last night. That is all I did yesterday was watch Dino Rex. <laughs> Could be another audio balancing nightmare. Oh, the orb. Ray McCoy. Marry me. The Taekwondo ref is still dead. Yeah. Give me a hard copy of that. <laughs> Give me a hard copy of that. Balling. Yeah, we're out here balling. Thank you, Dan Fan. Thank you, Ray McCoy. There's a quest mode in this game, but that's a that's a problem for tomorrow's Dino, I think. Let's just go to one player. We've got a lore. Look at this lore master. Zone one, two, three. Chicken. I guess we'll try a game at all of them if we can. Yeah, he's the ball master. Now we gotta choose our character. 
Gengrill, thank you for the host. If this ain't the most... If this ain't the most Joy Mech Fight looking ass character I've ever seen, this guy right here. What else do we got? I couldn't tell you what these stats are, but I believe we get to manually adjust them anyway. You know what? We're picking Joy Mech Fight. Who dares? Pluto to you too! Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the thick, chunky raid. Oh, is that Rayman emote new? <laughs> That's really strong. Her name is Plant. I oh, will just leave it default. I can't be bothered. Choose your opponent. Oh, we gotta pick our stats first. Yeah, we have some stat points we get to redistribute. Let's go, uh... That's probably fine. I don't know what we just did, but that feels right. What are we up against? Choose your opponent. Let's pick this red guy. As far as I'm aware, Welcome this is a ball-based uh, combat game. Komizo, or Cozimo, thank you for the follow. This is a ball-based combat game where we have to deplete our opponent's life bar. Oh, that's zoomed out. Oh, let me zoom. I gotta zoom that out a bit. Hold on, I got you. Hold that thought. Let me... Let me fix this capture. Eh. 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 We gotta, we gotta do like a, whoo, there we go. Blue don't thank you for the 39 whole years of tier three. Plasma man from Goemon. Furasuma. Editor's note, that's plasma in Japanese. Thank you, plasma man from Goemon. So as far as I'm aware, we can seize the purple orb, charge it up, and shoot it back, and then if they get hit by it, they take damage. We have life bars at the bottom of the screen, so you don't want to get got. You can grab the purple ball. You can grab it when it's purple, and you'll be totally fine. I think he used his special move to deal a little bit of damage to us. Next to our life bars, you can see a five. That's how many times we get to use our special move. So essentially, we're just trying to kill the other player. But he's gonna run out of special moves first at this rate. We've taken some damage. We gotta hit him. We gotta hit him with the orb. Just kinda let it bounce around, catch it if you want. I have collected a lightning. Makes me shake quite violently. Let's see, what does our special move do? What if I charge this up? Oh, it sticks him in place for a bit! Aha! I see! Then that allows us to hit him! No, Polar Bear! This is a Jaleco joint! The animation's very good, though. You have very smooth, like, turning! Oh, it looks like we did 18 damage just then. 54 damage! Damn, we got cooked! That's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Just charge up my move. So it looks like their super move allows them to ignite the ball, forcing us to relinquish uh, possession of the ball. Also does a little bit of damage as well from the looks of it. Yeah, it's my read on it, too, Despatch. For 1992, that may very well be the case. Oh, you're not allowed to turn when you're stuck like that, huh? Oh, really? So I can just blast you from behind when you're stuck facing a particular way. Really, now? Did we accidentally pick the top tier? Get a nice skull coming out of the door. So you're telling me while you're stuck facing that way, I can charge this up? <laughs> that's fucked. Oh, it's over, friend. Got him. Wait, this game is dope, Skeleton. actually. Skeleton. 
Yeah, the guaranteed stun combo. We might have accidentally stumbled onto the top tier. That seems pretty sick. This stream feels like an excuse to research mystery tournament strats. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! I was taking a drink! Okay. I've survived the rainbow nightmare. Alright, choose another opponent. You got it. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, you won! Perish! That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Like that we can see tiny men fighting before the before this uh, match starts. There's some lore reason for that, I'm sure. Oh, 18 damage. You got me. You got me fair and square. Let me charge this up to level 3, though. No, he got it. He's a genius. Oh, you fool. You buffoon. <laughs> yeah, it's very fluid for an NES game. It's also 1992, though, to be fair. That's pretty late for NES. Stein! Thank you for the host. Twenty-seven damage, that's no good. You step away for five minutes and Pluto raids. That's what happens. Oh, he's charging up his move. It's okay, we dealt 18 damage. Gotcha! We just gotta go for, like, head-ass level three shots. There we go. Plasma ball plant guy! Lock this over the head. You won't. <laughs> Especially if I stun you with my plant powers. Is that how plant powers work? I think I so, yeah, know. probably. Anyway, eat plasma, idiot. This game is... very satisfying to play. I have to point out that this game is responsive, because most of the other games we're playing today will not be. <laughs> can't believe it. We're getting so much mileage out of that skeleton button. As soon as we added a skeleton button, all of a sudden every game that we started streaming had skeletons in it. What is going on?! Why are we in the skeleton zone? What is happening?! Chat room, I'm scared. Okay. I'll just assume that that was danger time. Surely. I'll just- I, I, I'm sure that was just danger time. Yeah, we were in Spookum World. For a second there. Oh, let me get this health back, thank you. Yeah, the Bouncer. Not to be confused with the Sega CD basketball game just called Bouncers. Have I played Micro Mages? I've not played it, but I've heard of it. I've seen somebody stream that. I don't remember who. I don't know what that power-up just was. We collected something, and we were surrounded by some sort of a force field. No idea what that accomplished exactly. We can't pick up the, the broken heart icon. I think it was a shield? I'll take your word for it.
Oh yeah, give me a special move. Yeah, 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 yeah. 27 damage. Needs more bouncers. Always need more bouncers, I agree. Give me that. You fool. Oh. Oh, mashing. The bouncer. The bouncer. Activate skeleton? You got it. What have I done? What has activating the skeleton done for me, truly? Oh, what did he do? Oh, I can't turn while he's doing that. Let me put my back to a wall then. He healed himself a bit. What a shitter. Damn, he's good. I don't think I want to pick that up. I don't think that was like one of the good ones. Alright, we stole the thing. He picked up something, I'm not sure what. Oh, we got the, uh, the shield thing, I guess. Speaking of Micromage's homebrew stream, when? Never. Don't ask me for shit. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, we got a crazy rainbow effect every time we win or lose, apparently. Let's take on a different opponent. It's always the same people that ask me for shit, too. You notice that? <laughs> it's Chickabo! 70 bits, oh boy. Thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. We must win another match. Must win another plasma ball duel. Yeah, the sprite, the way that the sprites can rotate in this game is extremely smooth. There's no limit to how fast I can mash. Yes, off chassis. There's an English translation as well, like an English fan translation. I couldn't be bothered fucking around with BPS files, though, so I didn't... Didn't get it. I don't know if you can steal the ball on defense, actually. I haven't tried, because I'm afraid to get close. <laughs> when they have the ball... Hold on. Let me get really aggressive. No, I don't think... Wow, 63 damage! No, nah, I don't think that's a thing. D, thank you for the host. Damn, 63 damage. We got cooked. Give me that. Thank you. Hey, we got our special move right back. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it again. Thirty-six is about the most I can do at once. Don't you dare shoot it into the skeleton zone. Alright, he went for it. Skeleton. Yo, what's up, Duke? We're playing Plasma Ball right now. For the Famicom. Oh no, that was a lot of damage. Alright, 
Alright, that was bullying, I won't lie. <laughs> we just <laughs> froze him in one spot and then bullied him from behind. Apparently, that's how this game is played. Yeah, this is the prequel to Plasma Sword, I think. Okay, so these people are already defeated. Yeah, okay. So how many are left? One, two, three. Yeah, we might as well fight them all. Why not? It is very Mario 3, this tune, yeah. Let's see what happens when you beat them all. See if we can actually beat this video game. It's not Transformers bad, but it's close. Mine. I wonder my aim is off. I wouldn't consider this to be a sport game per se, but oh, if you like hold the ball too long, you deal damage to yourself. It's possible to like overcharge it. That's what I just learned. There's a risk reward mechanic. You fool. Yeah, anti-cheese, you're not allowed to just hoard the ball. Alright, alright, alright. The ball deals damage to nobody when it's purple. The only other place where- the only other game that gives me, like, the same vibes mechanically is Lethal League, which would not come out for a solid, like, 25 years. <laughs> oh, I picked up the broken heart. It deals damage to you. Yeah, I don't think they can steal it while you have the ball. Lethal League is very good. Man, you should be first to one. They are definitely first to one in this game. It doesn't even look like they're allowed to pick it up while they're frozen. Sissy Blade, thank you for the 20 whole years. I'm sending us to the skeleton zone. I don't know what I've done. Skeleton. Truly, what have I accomplished by doing that? Oh, I can't believe he didn't catch that. Skeleton zone means it never turns purple. Oh. Oh, I see. So it is it is danger time. <laughs> gotcha. Another one. Oh no. You fool. You fool. Okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone cover your eyes. Now that we're aware of the rainbow hellscape that awaits us. Dynamite Pete favor the host. Now that we're aware of the rainbow hellscape that awaits us at the end of every match. We gotta see if there's, like, a final boss. There's only two dudes left. Yeah, this is fun. This fuck what we gotta have the run back against this guy. The ball is mine! Yes! 
No, give me that back. No, I need that back. Oh, no! Okay, not a problem. <laughs> I think we're giant robots, yeah, because before every fight starts, we have, like, several soldiers on the ground just fighting each other. Infantry, if you will. So these must be giant, like, mecha death bots that, you know, play Pong with each other, I guess. It's unclear. <laughs> damn, I, and I got the rebound? We got the damage and the rebound? I learned- I figured out how to play. I figured it out. You just gotta get- you gotta get your own rebounds so that they never get to play. <laughs> yeah. No, give me that back. Shit! It's alright, I can still freeze him. He picked up the broken heart and took damage. <laughs> I'd watch a tournament to this game, too. Do you think there's high-level plasma ball players out there? Not to be confused with Plasma Ball with a Z for the C64. It's two different games. Yo, what's up, Danny? There's probably killers, yeah. It's probably, it's probably Plasma Ball killers out there. Alright, I think that's everyone except one guy. It's everyone except you. I bet Daigo is good at this game. So do I. I bet that's true. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Vizik, thank you for the follow. Yes. Gotta score the first. Gotta score the first ball. Did he run into the spikes and like dizzy himself? Is that what happens? Oh yeah, <laughs> you get stunned if you run into the spikes. Feels like I have encyclopedic knowledge of random games like this. I just be Googling shit. I'll be real with you. This knowledge is available to everyone with access to Google.com. Oh no, you're not allowed to hit the spikes along the walls either. What's my favorite sports game where the players are robots? It's gotta be, uh... Let me think. Let me think. I'm trying to think about how many of those I even know. Super Baseball 2020 is up there. Or I guess Base Wars would be the better baseball example. There's Mecha Robot Golf where you for absolutely no reason, play as a robot on a completely normal golf course. That one's pretty good. Mega Man Soccer, that's true. It's only- they're only robots if you pick the robot team, but I would say, like, Battle Baseball. If you pick, like, the Gundam team, Battle Baseball's really good. There's also Battle Dodgeball, all those competitive hero random-ass sports games. Use the spikes as cover. I'm slowly learning the meta of this video game. I'm slowly figuring it out. Cool, cool. Let's see if there's, like, a final boss of some sort. Some kind of super ultra final boss. Cover your eyes, chat room. Yeah, you got flash banged.
Yeah, dead ball zone. We've streamed that before, actually. I guess we won! We did it! Rotate! Rotate faster! Cool. Hey, I guess we did it. We beat the game. You know, I didn't expect to beat any games today, but I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Skeleton. Plasma ball seems cool. Uh, we're gonna have to get back to... We're gonna have to get back to this game at some point, because we have to check out the quest mode. Let's look at this real quick. Just like real quick, let's take a look at this. I just want to see what the hell quest mode entails. I just want to see it. Oh, <laughs> sick overworld screen! Yes! <laughs> ah, okay. So it ends up being sort of the same. We got a different arena. We have a lava arena. But yeah, I assume... Presumably you can, like, raise your stats and shit afterwards, yeah? Like, after a match? Calamari fan, you ask me this every time I play a game I can't read. <laughs> Alright, we get the idea. We'll get back to quest mode. Every time we play a Japanese game, there's somebody, usually Calamari fan, who's like, do you understand Japanese? I don't. I don't even have English figured out, dog. Anyway, let's keep it moving. We got other... We got other... Ball games to play. The first of, a uh, There was a movie in 1975 by the name of Rollerball. This movie, while not, uh, received critically very well, a lot of people don't think this, this movie's all that great. It had a remake, too, but we don't talk about that. The point is, this movie, Rollerball, was extremely influential. Porsche, thank you for the two whole years. I believe so, Draymark. I believe so. When it comes to video games, Rollerball was very influential, because there are quite a lot of um, video games that take the concept of that film and then make, uh, they make a video game out of it, out of that concept. <laughs> I just is slapping you up. I'm sorry to hear that. I, he, Raycat's about to pass out in like 30 minutes. <laughs> We're going to play Rocket Ball first for the C64. 1985, ten years after that movie. We don't talk about the original movie. <laughs> Three, a lot of people didn't like Rollerball that much. I thought it was okay. I haven't seen it in a while, granted. But I thought the movie was okay. There are a lot of games that were not called Rollerball that are the exact concept of Rollerball. This is probably the first game... Uh, that I would describe that way. It's for the C64. Let me whip out my completely legitimate C64. Where did I put my... Rocket Ball? There you are. Found Rocket Ball! Press play on tape! This was on a cassette tape. Would you believe video games are on cassette tapes? In 1985. Rocket Ball! By John Sinclair. Yeah, we got some good art. Alright, turn this up. Turn that up. Where do I need this to be? I don't think the game has any music in game anyway. Great stuff! Thank you for the eight whole years. I don't want to be the yellow team. Alright, who do we got? We've got uh, uh, Houston, I assume. Uh, Houston, Tak, I don't know what planet that's from. Moscow. Who the fuck knows? Is it Tokyo? Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this one? That just means I don't know green. This was probably not even Houston. Who the fuck knows? We want, like, two distinct colors. Madrid? Probably. Yeah, you're probably right. Blue and yellow? That's Yeah, that's distinct enough. I think we have to set them to be... 
Uh, what button? There we go. Because they were on player two mode. We gotta set them to CPU. Put me in. Yes! Look at them go! Shed rock! I never thought I'd be this excited to see DNO play with his balls. We're playing with so many Randy. balls today, dude, Shadrock. Thank you so much. This is a very simple concept. We skate around. We have to collect the ball off the ground manually. And if you uh, fuck this up, if you fuck up trying to grab this ball, you just fall over. So you have to make sure you actually grab it. And then you try to throw it into the whole... Yeah, it's roller derby style. There will be goals on the walls that you'll see go by. And you just try to shoot it into it. At the moment, the opposing team has the ball. So we have to try and uh, kill the dude with the ball, basically. Pull up alongside him. Just punch the shit out of him. There we go. The ball is mine! Aha! Never mind! Okay. Players are dropping at a frightening speed. We just gotta keep punching people. Every time somebody else gets the ball, we just punch them and then they drop the ball. The thing about picking up the ball in this game is that... You can, you can trip over the ball. Which is a little bit of a problem. There we go! We're on the board, baby! Where's the music? This is a Commodore 64 game, friend. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, music or gameplay. Some games have both. Some C64 games did have music during the gameplay. I would argue most of them probably didn't, but a good chunk of them. Easy buckets, that's all we need. And that's all you gotta do, you just gotta wait until the opposing team's uh, goal pops up. So we're waiting to find the yellow goal on the wall as we skate by. And then we try to, uh, we try to dunk the ball in there. It's not guaranteed, you have to have pretty good aim to actually get it in there. Everyone is- everyone's tripping and falling. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, the opposing team has the ball! Where are my players? They're all dead. Fortunately, he whiffed trying to score. He did a jump! Look at that sick jump! I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna punch his lights out. Oh, he went for it. He tried to shoot the J! Yeah, come here. Come here. No, come here. Yes! The ball is loose! Give me that. No! Everyone's falling over. It's falling over. Everyone's falling over. That's just what happens in this hellscape of an earth. So now we gotta wait for the yellow goal. Hold on, I'm about to hit, I'm about to launch this shit from downtown. Oh, I almost went in! That would have been sick! I almost did it. I almost did an immaculate goal. Sadly, we do not score extra for that. Damn! Yeah, you gotta chunk it. Sometimes it works. The overwhelming majority of the time it don't work, but that's okay. The ball is just rolling harmlessly to the earth. There we go. We don't have any mini-maps. A lot of games that uh, play like this, and there are several of them, contain a mini-map. So that you can get a vague idea of where your other players are located on the field. You'd cry him to see this in real life. That's roller derby. That's roller derby, friend. You can look it up right now. I remember roller games. Fucking NES had a roller games game. There's a fucking game right there. No! Alright, fair enough. We still got six minutes left in the game. I assume it's six minutes left in the game, because if it's six minutes left in the half, we're going to be here. This is going to be a long day. 
but I assume it's 10 minute games. And we get the gist. There's not really anything else to this game. It's just mostly like a quick play one game and that's it. One of those games where if you got if you got a buddy, if you had a buddy in 1985, if you had like a C64 buddy to game with, have the fucking time of your life. Oh, that was sick. It's a very fun game. I'll be honest with you, it's a really fun game to play. <laughs> There's like nothing to it. There's nothing to it, but it's really fun. Yeah, you gotta have a gaming wing person. Does that mean there's split screen? I don't think so. I don't think there is, no. Which only makes things even more confusing, I imagine. Everyone's dying. Everyone's falling over trying to collect the bag. There we go. I'm gonna dunk it. I'm gonna dunk it in. Just gonna dunk that shit. Huh! Fuck! Eh. Eh. No. Eh. Come here. No. <laughs> it's impossible to collect the ball sometimes. Oh no, everyone's dead. No. <laughs> everyone's dead. There's no one unless this is the only guy left. Everyone else has collapsed. Wait, wait. Wow, that was a crazy good shot. Yeah, moment of silence for everyone on the field. They all died. It's three to two. I can bring this back. I say as I'm already in the lead. Yeah, they're professional athletes. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to launch it. There we go. Just gotta pull up alongside. You can only collect the ball while you're moving towards it from behind. If you try to... If you try to collect it like, from in front of it, you will trip over the ball every time. Goddamn ball's made out of vibranium. You cannot make contact with it without eating shit. The screen is just scrolling. Okay. There it goes. Oh, I'm already in position. Yeah. Huh. That's a good move. Oh no, I missed! I hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I can't tell which players are mine anymore. I know that I have the blue team. Alright, they're pulling away. Yeah, they're, we're skating in a circle. Papa Trunks! Thank you for the nine whole years. We're skating in a circle. This is also how roller games do it. You just, just kind of skate around in like an oblong kind of a rink. Okay. Okay. This brown border's bothering you. That is not my problem, friend. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? Your hands on the ball! Oh, everyone's falling down. Good thing they got bad aim. Yo, Brad! Thanks for the host! We have to recollect the ball. We're behind! There we go. There we go. We have a chance. Never mind. He's aiming for the crowd! <laughs> yeah. yeah! The soundtrack. We have, this game's got a killer soundtrack. We only had the a brief snippet of jams on the on the title screen. In game there's no music. We got we got nothing. Oh, there's my team. I was wondering when my team would show up. Aha, the ball is mine. Yes. Yeah, just eating shit. That's the whole game. Hope I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I can't complain. 
I stayed up too long watching Dino Rex last night, I'll be real with you. Dino Rex tournament slapped exactly as hard as I thought it would. You gotta check the VOD? Yeah, it was actually four VODs, because the Dino Rex bracket was split amongst four channels. They had four different pools streams. <laughs> it was amazing. That's just how many entrants there were. Somehow, somehow they hit the cap of 128 players in Dino Rex. Couldn't be happier for them. Yeah, the power of memes. There were some people on Twitter that were... Which channel has this VOD? You'd have to... You'd have to check, uh... Crabs. What the fuck was Crabs' Twitter name? I forgot already. Like, APC Crab? I don't remember. Did I enjoy the Evo Salt? You'll have to be more specific. There were definitely some salty people. Yeah, that's what it was. Thank you, bye, Commando. The ball is mine. Where's that yellow? Where's the yellow goal? Trying to not get run over. Alright, it's a tie game again. Yeah, Duke Donuts, there was a 120 player, 128 player Dino Rex tournament last night. The pool, the prize pool was over $2,000. <laughs> Frankly, it sounds fake, but it was real. Can't believe it. There's only 40 seconds left. Must collect the ball. But my team is drunk. Damn, he's good. 128 players in one game? Just like... Just 128 dinosaurs on the same screen? Am I to blame? No, I wasn't. The Dino Rex tournament was not my idea. I threw $100 into the pot, but I had nothing to do with the conception of that idea. Those were some other mad lads that were like, let's run a Dino Rex bracket. As a joke. And then people actually showed up. <laughs> uh oh. There's no time left. I gotta score quick. Oh no! Who? Ah, shit, I tried. Right, we lost by one. The crowd is into this. Very good. Yeah, this is a neat little game. Oh, the crowd animates! I can't believe it! And that's back to the title screen. And that's basically the entire game. There's only one arena. You can pick between different teams if you want. But that's essentially it. It's a neat little game. 1985. This is probably more of like a... This is more of a more of a two-player experience, I imagine. It's worth mentioning you can also change the opponent's difficulty level by pressing what? F5? Yeah. So we had it on 11, which is the easy mode, and we still lost, but you can crank it all the way to 66. Shadigo, thank you for the host. Let's see what else we got in here. We got several ball games to look at today. Let's keep it moving. Roller Champions. Was that the new one? I think I saw Max play that. Who was it that I saw? Was that Max that played that? I don't remember. Anyway, we're gonna look at Skateball. Which is very similar in concept. This is for the Atari ST. We haven't played an Atari ST game in a while. Time to whip out ye old Atari ST. So that we can play some Skateball. This had a C64 version as well, it's worth mentioning, but the Atari ST version has a little bit more to it. It's also in French, 
and I cannot read French, so this is going to be good. Not going to regret this experience at all, I'm sure. <laughs> That's the wrong capture. Where's my ST capture? I think it's this one. I think we have a Cracktro, yeah. Cracktro the Replicant! Cool Cracktro. Let me move this box over. Alright. I feel like we just gotta do a stream where we just look at crack tros and that's all we do. Right? We gotta do the crack tro screen stream where that's all we do is look at crack tro screens. Hmm. Yeah, rate the crack tros. Oh, that'd be so sick. All the best ones are on Amiga, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, Ubi soft two words. Yeah, this is the rollerball poster. You are correct. Rollerball was a very influential movie when it comes to making fake sport video games. Bienvenue, our skateball. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Demonstration. Uh, this I assume is one and two players. That's my French. It's very bad. I took zero years of French. I took two years of Spanish, which is extra good because I've retained none of it. I think port zero is where we want our joystick to be, yeah. I think red and blue automatic makes the goalie move on their own, which is probably what we want. Because the goalie is otherwise like manual control and it's just impossible to control your goalie and your player at the same time, so we'll pick blue automatic. Oh, yeah, it's picking, uh, do we, I guess it's picking if we want to be an attacker or a goalkeeper? I think? I have no fucking clue. Cool. All right, we're going in. I'm gonna hope that, I'm gonna hope that my controller is set up properly, because I ain't good at this Atari ST shit. You took seven years of Spanish and retained very little? Yeah, you just gotta... It's just one of those things where you gotta keep at it. Okay, so I got the blue guy. I've already been scored on. He just walked it right the fuck in. He just walked it right in. There's the red team. That's the goal we gotta score on. We've already... The ball is mine! No! No, hand it over! Get back here! There we go. Character portraits. Yeah, the character portraits at the bottom are great. It's odd that we can see three-on-three -three character portraits when there's only two players per team. But there are hella random obstacles around. We got, like, spike balls. Lots of things we can trip over <laughs> and take damage from. Get back here. And we're also on ice at the same time. It's like ice soccer, but it's like brutal ice soccer. Damn, he's good. Get back here. He really just tried to walk it in. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? Give me this ball. Give me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I walked it in. There we go. It feels good. Injury. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if it's possible for players to die in this game by slamming into spikes and shit. Oh, I got a breakaway. 
Oh, I kicked it the wrong way. Oh, no. Come here. Give me that. Yes! <laughs> we just pushed it in. Oh, so it said no casualties, huh? Okay. That implies that we can deal, like, damage to them, right? It's probably possible to just bully the shit out of them. It's only a one-button game, though, as far as I'm aware. Oh! It's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. Everything's under control. I tried to walk it in again. Oh shit, a rat! Marry me with my money. Hun hun hun. Sacrable. Le petite gamer from Z foreign land of Ohio. <laughs> no players. Nothing is more foreign than Ohio. <laughs> no! Okay, with goalie had the save of the century. Thought I was about to get scored on, but then he was gaming. Cool. Thank you, Rat, for the dollar do. Thank you, Marty.Zone, for the 100 bits. Papa Trunks, thank you for the nine whole years. I think this game does have bump combat, yeah. Oh, I immediately ate shit. Both of us ate shit. I'm out of here. I'm walking it in. You can't stop me. Oh, no, he stopped me. <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> it's really. Oh my god, he's dead! Are you okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Are you good? Oh, it's dripping blood. Oh my god. All right. All right, he's dead, I guess. Next level. He's just faking. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It was probably just that was a flop. Oh, there's even more spikes now. <laughs> oh, now it's going to be even easier to die. Don't you dare walk it in. God damn it, he walked it right in. Yeah, he was just wearing several blood bags, that's all. You. Oh, I pushed him into the spikes. And then my goalie own gold. But hey, at least we killed a guy first. I wonder if we can win by killing the entire enemy team. We have to see if there's an alternate win condition. You have to see if it's possible to win by just eradicating the enemy team. Oh no, one of my guys is dead now. Well, we can't exactly go get it. Oh, now he's dead. <laughs> both teams, they both died. All right. Next level, does that count as a victory? Did we win? It moved us to level three. Was that a- oh, eyeballs, what's going on? What's happening? I'm so scared. There's bottomless pits, dude! No! There's bottomless pits now! I'm out of here. Taking it. Easy buckets. I think they're bouncy eyes, yeah. I don't think those kill you, but I bet the pits do. How ridiculous are the... How ridiculous are the obstacles gonna get? That's all I want to know. He just walked it right in. Goalie didn't even try. The objective is to beat people up. I'm not sure. I'm glad this game has one music track that just never stops. It's just gonna be a dude with a gun? Yeah. No! <laughs> he's dead. He fell in, he's just dead now. Stakes are high in skateball, dude. No one told me the stakes were this high. 
What a goal! There we go. It's actually quite easy to score once you break away from the other attacker. The goalies are pretty ineffective in this game. <laughs> Wait, did he fall in? <laughs> there he goes. I'm gonna walk it in. Just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk it right in. Yeah, come over here. <laughs> oh no, I kicked it the wrong way. <laughs> eh, eh. Well, we're not really in any danger because the other guy is the other guy's dead. Cool. Did we win two to three? No. One of the players revived, it seems. Might have been one of our guys. Somebody somebody revived. Well, there he goes. He immediately fell in. Can you murder a goal? I'm not sure if you can murder the goalkeeper. Athena, yeah, thank you for the next level. Thank you for the 31 whole years next level. What kind of dangerous death traps have we here? Is that a light bulb? I must know what the light bulb does. I must know. Come here. No, come here. I want to see it. No, come here. I want to bait you into hitting the light bulb. No, come here, though. Alright, fair enough. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm just dead now. He's dead. It's gonna be really funny if you continue failing to score on this goalkeeper. Alright, there you go. Next level! Oh, did we loop it? How did we get back to level one? It's unclear how this game works. Oh, skateball! I guess we're back to the title screen. You think we lost? I guess we did. We might have do. It might have been game over. It's rolling credits as if we won, but we definitely got scored on, so that can't be. Seems like if two people die, you lose. Oh, okay. This game's great. Well, let me mess with this a little bit more. Eh. Eh. Uh. Port Zero. Let's play as the red team. Let's see if the obstacles are always the same. Yeah, it said boots maximum. Okay, it looks like the arena layouts are the same. So now we're playing as the red team. Nice synchronized wipeout. You've scored on yourself, you goal. You goalkeeper buffoon, he scored on himself. Yeah, we have a, we have the goalkeeper set to automatic, so he just kind of does whatever he wants. Sometimes. Apparently, he just own goals. Because why not? It's a miracle neither of us died doing that just now. I'm gonna lure this guy into the spikes. Come here. No, come here. No, come here. I want to try something. Come here. <laughs> I'm going to lure you into these spikes. Come here. No, come here. You want this ball? I know you want the ball. Oh, no! He's a genius. <laughs> Wiping out. Music's kind of relaxing. I don't mind this tune. It's not bad. Hyper advanced AI. I was trying to bait him into f into crashing into the spike ball. Tried to bait him into into exploding, but he didn't bite. Okay, so it takes a long time to turn while you're in motion. That's what's been fucking me up. You cannot quickly like turn around and then shoot. You have to go into a long, like, turnaround animation. 
Alright, now they're goalkeeper own gold. This is optimal, this is ideal. Of all the fake sports that we've seen so far, this is the most, this is the one I most want televised. With all the death traps in play. I just want to see what would happen. Yeah, I wish Skateball was real as well. There's people falling into bottomless pits live on air. <laughs> yeah, it's the goalkeeper, like, kicking it the wrong way. It seems... Okay, I've, I've figured out the meta of scoring on these goalkeepers, though. Scoring on them's not that bad. Each team has a backup player. Oh, is that why we lost? Did we, like... We lost our main guy and our backup? Ah, okay. Alright, yeah, we figured out... We figured out the meta of scoring. It's pretty easy to juke their goalkeeper. You just do, like, a quick little zigzag. They don't seem to know what to do. I went the wrong way. I thought I was blue for a second. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> Poor bastard. He just exploded. Went right into it. Very gruesome. Hey, he respawned, though. They already got their guy back. That was quick. He played himself. You hate to see it. Oh, I thought I was blue again. He walked it in. Did you see that ludicrous display just now? goalie is way too close to those spikes when they're brought out when they cart the obstacles out no nah! oh that's not even me that was the other guy i thought that was me eh. how to collect this ball without dying eh 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 okay <laughs> that's like a real concern it's like how do i grab this without exploding You might be able to, Julian. That's a that's a good question. You might actually be able to. Yeah, that guy stayed dead, it seems. The portraits are very great. The portraits are very shadow run. Dude's got a data jack up his nose. Damn, he just walked it straight in. You can smell the data. Come here. Yeah, yeah, kick it out. What a pass! Uh, damn, he's good. Oh, ho, 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 the ball is mine! You know what these portraits remind me of? There's a... What the fuck is that game called? I think it's on the SNES. It's called, like, Metal Fangs or Metal... Metal Cars or... There's some kind of, like, a futuristic racing game that has portraits a lot like this. But I think that one uses real people that they just photoshopped cyberware onto. Metal Fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the eyeball factory. Don't fall into bottomless pits. I almost immediately fell into a bottomless pit. Okay. The ball is mine. Hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! 
Yeah, the other guy, the guy on the other team is still dead. I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that means. Trying to lure him into... Trying to lure him into the pit, but I don't think it's going to work out. Maybe he stayed dead and he scored a goal. It's unclear. The rules of skateball are known only to the people in the video game. Us mere mortals cannot possibly comprehend the inner machinations that are skateball. I'm just going to gatekeep. I'm going to gatekeep the ball. Oh, no! That didn't go quite the way I envisioned it in my head. Oh, I got the ball! Having a Bitmap Brothers kind of day? Love me some Bitmap Brothers video games. I don't think this was one of them, though. Or maybe it was. I don't think it was, though. Regardless, there will definitely be at least one or two Bitmap Brothers joints today. <laughs> oh, he fell in! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> Stakes are high in Skateball, dude! Calder Gaming! Ha 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 ha, Ronaldinho Soccer. <laughs> Thank you, Calder Gaming. Team eliminated, yeah! He played some Chaos Engine. Now there's a fucking game. I still don't know what the light bulb does. I wonder what the light bulb does in the middle. I imagine you don't just wipe out. Yeah, I'm scared of the glass orb, too. I imagine you don't just trip over when you bump into it. I imagine something much more gruesome happens. Oh no, they're starting the game. Touch it, it's harmless. Damn, they just walked it in three times. Can't steal can't seem to steal the ball from this guy, he's too strong. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run into it for science? Let me secure a point lead first. Or attempt to. <laughs> Okay, okay, trying to play defense. There we go. Alright, we're coming back. Crawling back into it. I'm gonna have this song stuck in my head for the remainder of the week. I can already tell. Oh, what a sick pass! When do we get non-zero victims? People have been dying left and right in this game. We've been, there's been plenty! What an immaculate defensive maneuver! That's how we do it. That's how we get it done, baby! It must be first to four, then, and we were just on the verge of defeat. Wow, there's so many... There's just tons of shit. Understood. I'm out of here. See you later. Yeah, just rocks. No murder. The ball is mine! The ball is not mine! The ball is mine! <laughs> the goalkeepers in this game are completely incompetent.
just a hundred percent. Oh, I bumped into a pillar! Come here. No! You get back here! Aha, you fool! What a steal! Cool. Yeah, I guess it's first to four. Must be. The goalkeepers are scared of dying. That's probably it. You can't get too attached to your teammates in Skateball. They could be dead at any moment. Next level. All right, let's make this the last one we do, because we got other games to look at today. Oh, it looks like they're starting the loop, maybe? No, not quite. There's just loads of shit everywhere. Yeah, no death obstacles. Not sure if pressure plate... I don't think that's like a... Sir Retro, thank you for the host. I don't think that's like a landmine or anything. Be pretty fucking sick if it were, though. But yeah, this game was also on C64, and I don't think that version has any of the traps on the field. It runs at a higher frame rate, but that's probably why he's just... The ball is having a time. How are we going to recover this ball? You've left it... <laughs> have you ever played... Have you ever played, like... Some sort of a ball game in your backyard and you have, like, a fence that goes to the neighbor's house and someone accidentally, like, hits it over the fence and they're like, well, I don't want to go get it. That's exactly what just happened. <laughs> Oh no, now it's even now it's even more of a no man's land. Yeah, frisbee on the roof, exactly. How are we eh Eh Shit Get back here. Yo, this goalkeeper is cooking. Oh that wasn't the goalkeeper, never mind. I thought the goalkeeper had brought it all the way to it. Never been in a fenced-in yard before? They're pretty alright, I won't lie. No! He stole the ball, get back here! Alright, that was not the most brilliant defensive maneuver I've seen. Oh, what a bounce! <laughs> we're we're str struggling. I can't see the ball. It's obscured. There we go. Eh. Huh. Huh. Eh. Yes! I agree with Kuiper Frog. It's first to four. It might, we might get scored on, though. Damn, Ari, you got me. Yeah, it looks like it goes back to level one when we lose. All right, we get the gist of Skateball. I don't know how many levels there are. Yeah, game over. Fair enough. I don't know how many levels there are, but presumably it's loops at some point. I have to assume. Very cool game, this one. Maybe we'll check out the C64 version at some point. Yeah, we'll never know what the light bulb does. It's gonna be up to some brave soul. Your AirPods blasted with 
if Dino stream sounded crunchy like a 1970s radio show. Wait until we play some noir games. Where I make my microphone bad on purpose. <laughs> also, the entire stream is in black and white. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Let's look at Killer Ball! Speaking of games that are just Rollerball the movie, but different, Killer Ball for the Amiga. For this fucking box art this is the most, it's the most rad box art I've ever seen. Football helmet with spikes on it. <laughs> they put Arsenal in Saga Reuniverse. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. No, I don't think this guy. I don't think this guy wants to be here either. Why try to make the cover not look like Rollerball? This is the second box art in a row that's just the Rollerball cover, like, for the movie. The second one in a row now, that's, that's just Rollerball, but that's okay. Uh, Killer Ball is... Killer Ball was this one from this screen. Legally distinct is the best kind of distinct. Yes! And what a killer ball it was. That is the wrong capture. Where's my Amiga capture? That's the ST capture. Here's my oh Amiga my capture. Yeah, 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 okay. Let me turn this up. Hold on. Pump up the jam. Yeah, yeah, pump the jam up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any music during the gameplay, though. Copy protection. It's obviously a uh, knife. That's obviously the right one. Damn, how did I know? That's crazy. What is this link? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Today I will not overthink. I simply will not think at all. Head is empty, you are correct. <laughs> Training league load! I can save my progress? We don't need no training, we're probably good enough. Which team am I? Looks like we're the Grizzlies by default, but do I want to be the Grizzlies? Are you sure I don't want to be the Punchers? That's a good team. I guess we'll stick with the Grizzlies because they're the blue one. Normal? Expert? Nah, we're definitely experts at this. Minor League Championships, Week 1. These are the standings. No one has scored anything. Next match, Grizzly versus Wild Boar. Okay. So we're up against the green team. I get to choose my attack and defense formations, but we'll just leave it where it is. So this game is the same concept as the C64 one we played, where we kind of skate around in a circle, and then we have to insert the ball into a hole in the wall. Only a bit less aim is required in this game. Oh, that's right, we have it on the wrong Amiga. We actually have the game running way too fast. <laughs> Hold on, this is supposed to be on the Amiga uh, 600, not 1200. Sorry, that's my bad. We could run it on the 1200, but then it's, like, unplayably fast. Yeah, we want this on Amiga 600, I'm pretty sure. My Amiga was too powerful. Gotta slow that down a little bit. It's very possible for an Amiga game to run too fast. <laughs> Copy protection, it's obviously... It's obviously, uh... Ooh, it's obviously Dada way over here. Damn, I'm good. Back to league mode. Oh, I should have put my shit on, uh, expert so I can change formations. Let's see. Defense. What defensive formation do we want? 
This one looks good. We're going to want to hide behind our blockers whenever we do have the ball. I don't think our attack formation matters as much. Sackers! What the fuck is a sacker? Three of those seems like a good amount. I don't know what this means. I'm sure it's fine. We're here in the arena. Yes! Defense. 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 Thank you, Ultimo. Here we go. This is the speed we're supposed to be at. So, the scoreboard at the top of the screen, it's got two zeros and it has a light in the middle of it. Suck it to me. <laughs> Thank you, Maple. We have to skate around until it lights up, that light in the middle of the scoreboard. And then once it lights up, that's when we're eligible to actually deposit the ball in the scoring receptacle. You basically have to do a lap around the track before it allows you to score. You can't just dump it straight in. Ooh. We got a nice little mini-map as well. We can see where people are. Yeah, generally we want to kind of hide by... We want to hide by our blockers whenever we have the ball. Just kind of hide behind them. Is this just troller games? Yes. Yes, it is. Put it in! Yeah, there we go! Put it in the hole! Yes! That's how you do it. That's how you score. That's all you gotta do. You have to do a lap around the track, then you gotta put it in the opposing team's, like, wall socket. <laughs> you, have to, you have to pay attention, though, because it's possible to... It's possible to put the ball in the wrong hole and then you get you that they score. Oh, look at all these blockers. Yeah, I'm hide. Let me hide next to this guy. I'm hiding behind my team. Here we go. Here we go. Cover me. Cover me. Yes. No. Oh, what a juke. What a juke. Oh, I almost got it. Give me that. Give me that ball. Okay. Okay. Green one, green, green goal. No, he was uh, he was waiting right next to it. He's a genius. He's like, I know he's got to come around this way. If I just sit right the fuck here next to the goal, I can't score. He's a genius. Here I go. No, no, no. Oh, I missed. Good voice clips. You can really, you can really feel the blood curdling screams. Damn, he's really just camping. He's camping the goal. He's a genius. Come here. It's an absolute bloodbath. Yeah, I think we. I think somebody did a command grab. Ugh. The ball is mine. Okay. My dude skated too far forward. Where's my team? I need teammates to hide behind. There we go. There we go. Cover me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no! This game is sick. Don't you dare. I can't help but notice that we have life bars as well. I wonder if that's going to come into play at all. Going around the outside. Oh, actually, that's too slow. Whew. Okay. Need you to cover me. Cover me. Yes. Oh, there we go. This game's great. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Azuka, thank you for the follow. We're cooking. Currently cooking in Killer Ball. Yeah, we just needed, like, a blocker to show up and take out that guy that was camping the goal. Hammer, silly MacLeod, Pepper, Zippo, Rogue, Mabel, Chang, <laughs> Yeah, not MacLeod. MacLeod, two words. <laughs> yeah, we gotta try to kill him. I don't know if that's possible. I see that we have life bars, but I don't know if there's actual casualties in this game. There were certainly casualties in, uh, in Skateball. <laughs> no, no, no. 
You are correct, Goaty. This is not speedball. Playing killer ball. Breezak gifted Crumpton a sub. Got him. Oh, it's a bloodbath. Cover me. Cover me. Stay right there. <laughs> Stay right there. I need you to cover me now! <laughs> what a kick! Eh. Okay. Oh, oh, God! I'll wait for my team to get here. Is there a power-up on the wall? I think there were, like, little icons on the wall. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's, like, a little icon there. I couldn't tell you what they do, though, or what they mean. Oh, I almost had the perfect movement. It's all right. I don't think they can score two goals in, in the remaining 15 seconds of the match. I don't see them making the ultimate gamer play to make this comeback. I think we got this, baby. That's game. Yes. This game is so cool. Time out. Is it halftime, though, I wonder? Is it halftime, or is that the game? It's unclear. Alright, we have to wait for things to happen. Grizzly 2, Wild Boar 0. Aha! Next match, Snakers versus Volcane. What, I get to watch the AI battle? I get to watch it? Alright, tell you what. Tell you what, we're gonna watch this. How do I run a prediction? Check this shit out, we're about to, we're about to place bets on this bad boy. There we go. There we go, we're about to, we're opening the new Yen Casino, we're about to watch the Snakers versus the Vulcan. Let me see here. <laughs> Keep in mind, I don't actually know how watching this works. I don't know if it forces us to play as one. It looks like it's going to be an AI battle. So, assuming that it works the way we think it works, we won't have to uh, refund any points. But if it turns out that it don't work the way we think it works, we'll probably just refund it. Anyway, place your bets real quick. <laughs> Play your bets real quick so we can... Let's see who's got this. <laughs> I'm gonna put some... I gotta put some music on. What do we want to hear? Let me see. What's the jam? What's the killer ball jam? It's gotta be, uh... 56k on sneakers. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how I spell that. There we go. 10k on blue. I don't actually know who the teams are. It looks like the Snakers are the white team and the Volcane are like like a lightish green. Yeah. Killer ball. We must begin the killer ball match. There we go. Start the match. This is the music we need. I'm putting the controller down. Okay, it is an AI battle. Sick. A push button launch ball. I'm into this. Stakes have never been higher. Oh, look at that movement. Oh my god, he got command grabbed! It's gonna be funny if this ends up zero to zero. Okay. Yeah, he got Clarked! There was a command grab in there! You kinda hope it ends zero to zero. I guess we can't pay it out if it's a draw. Oh, is they're eligible to score? Oh, but impeccable defense! Oh, 
Oh, they can score again. So in between the two zeros on the scoreboard, there's a little light bulb. You have to skate forward enough. I think you have to do an entire lap. Once you've skated far enough, the little light bulb in between the two zeros will light up, and then you're eligible to make a scoring play. I guess that's to prevent people from just getting the ball, camping next to the goal, and then putting it in. They actually make you do a lap first. Like, you have to earn the right to score. An unclaimed killer ball. There it is. Snaker HP not looking good. Yeah, there's some injured players. Oh, Green's got a blocker. Blockers are in play. What a defensive effort. They're eligible to score. Never mind. <laughs> this bot to end up 0-0, zero to zero, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we'll see if there's sudden death overtime. It might actually come to that. The song is from Tekken 5. They both get eliminated, but we can't pay it out if it's a draw. What a command grab! Oh, they got blockers. Never mind. <laughs> every time the every time the light bulb lights up, <laughs> they immediately lose possession of the ball. I love the mini map where you can see exactly where everyone is. It's actually really precise, that mini-map. Oh, what a block. Big block. Big block. They got a chance. No! They almost scored. They were that close. They had it, it was in their hand. Everyone's all messed up from the fighting, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 look at this army of blockers. This could be it. Look at the defense. There's only 10 seconds left. I don't think there's anybody. I don't think anyone's going to score. Unless Green makes a play right here. They got blockers. They have a chance. Oh, they went for it, but they couldn't make it. The time has run out, but the game continues. Is it first to score? It might be. Oh, this could be it. Oh, he's trying to get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost made it. We're going to be here all day, yeah. Eventually, you just need... They just need the correct amount of blockers in the right spot at the right time. Look at this army of blockers. This could be it. He's going for the gold! Oh, he made it! The Snakers win! Pay it out. Time is out. I don't actually remember how to 
I don't remember how to pay out a prediction. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I think I gotta open the prediction menu. Prediction. Choose outcome. Snakers. There we go. Complete prediction. Yes. Alright, pay that shit out. That was cool. That was fun. <laughs> I don't think we need to do anything else with this game. I think we... I think we get the picture. I'm content with that. I'm content to move on. The Drakkar versus the Sphinx. Oh, yeah. Draco's on! Thank you for the host. I'm content to move on after that. Let's see what else we got in here. Why'd they only get 11 points? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because they won in overtime, and that's not as valuable somehow. <laughs> Run it back! The Falks were right! <laughs> You want me to- I could run one more. I could run the Drakkar versus the Sphinx match. We could maybe... We could run one more if you want. Nah, we got shit to do. We got other games to look at today. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. This game's great. This is a, this is a big recommend. You'd be in? Nah, we got other games to play. Maybe if it comes up again. Some sort of, uh, viewable AI battle. We can do it. Let's look at more dank ball games, though. Let's take a look at... What else do we got in here? Let's take a look at... Buster Ball for the Game Gear. <laughs> I think this was another game that only came out in Japan. I believe this was a Japanese-exclusive Game Gear ball game. I don't fully grasp... What this video game is, or what the objective is, or how to play it, or anything. But, uh, I suspect we'll figure it out in short order. There ain't that many buttons on the game gear. How hard could it be? Where did I put Buster Ball? That's pretty important. There you are. River Hillsoft! Yes! There's a name I've not seen in a while. River Hillsoft has never once in their life missed. Not one time. Well, we've got music. Yeah, Overblood. Didn't they also do Dr. Hauser? Was that River Hillsoft? I think that was... I think that was Dr. Hauser. Love Dr. Hauser. Open mode. Buster League. Put me in the Buster League. I'm strong enough. I don't actually know how to play this game. Whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dubstep Paladin. <laughs> Draco's on. Input? I went to the dentist today and my entire face is numb. Probably just like a lot of these ball players that are getting tackled to death for my amusement. No football. <laughs> Thank you, Drake. Goes on. I have bad news. That's not a valid password. Horrible news. All right, we gotta gotta make it all zeros. Ah, team select. Select my team. I guess I'll take the Triforces. No. Yeah, I, I mean... I guess I'll take the Triforces. <laughs> Why not? Whoops. I was supposed to hit start. Take the cool S. No, yeah, you're right. Take the cool S. That's way more important. Suzuka. Select 2P. Let's fight the Triforces. Coliseum select. Gotta go to Osaka. Gotta go to Osaka. That's where all the that's where all the cool KOF stages are. All right, what is going on? Let's quickly figure this out. This game runs at frames. I've worked this much out. It looks like I have the white ships, not the purple ones. I think I'm supposed to be shooting it upwards. I think I'm supposed to be taking this. Upwards, there we go. Now we're cooking. 
Yeah, three FPS. It's because of all these characters on screen. Look at all these ships we get. The field is, like, segmented. It's very odd. Yeah, we must put the ball into the goal. How hard could that be? What an attack. You frequent zero, zero? Nah. Oh no, one of my ships exploded. You can take lethal damage in this game, is what I've just learned. Oh, it's not looking good. They're driving back down the field. Launch it back over. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I think I'm supposed to be shooting upwards. VR keyboards. Were you in the, uh, were you in the Dino Rex bracket, Big Bang? I assume you were. How did that go? That was a fun, that was a fun tournament to watch. <laughs> I'm glad so many people entered. No, I don't think there is JCW. You installed Skyrim VR mods for a week. I had forgotten Skyrim VR was a thing, I'll be real with you. This game's gonna end zero to zero. Unless we make a crazy play. The Ultimo! Is this just bootleg Bill Lambia? No, don't be ridiculous. Surely Bill Lambeer is boot like Bill Lambeer. <laughs> now we're cooking. Yes. Okay, we're fine. The ball shot the wrong way. I've located the dash button, and there's only two buttons on Game Gear, so I figured out which button allows us to move rapidly slash attack the opposing team. Oh, is that their goal? I didn't realize we were so close! Get back here! No! How did it bunny hop over the fence? I can't believe this. Got him! Is absolutely about to end zero to zero. <laughs> There's only nine seconds left. Well, nine Marvel seconds anyway. They're not real seconds. Yeah, the field is enormous. Shoot it. What a shot. I got the ball. Let's put it in. Oh no! Damn. All right. Oh, it's halftime. All right, cool. Now we greater. we have a greater understanding of our objective. Let's try to put one in. Probably only do a game or two of this. If only because I can barely comprehend what's happening at this frame rate. It looks like they're going up now, so we probably have to go down. I assume we switched sides at halftime. Yeah, the Suzuka cool S's. Yeah, okay. The opposing team is firing it down, or they're firing it upwards. Which means we have to go down, then. 
How did both of my ships explode? I hate it here. Passed it to myself! What a play! Huh. We have to see at least one goal. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta see at least one goal. We gotta try to score! Even if only once. We have to see if it's an impossible game for aliens. I believe it's possible to score in this video game. It might be hard, though. It looks like you need a long sequence of things to go right. Oh, they almost scored, the opposing team. They're in position to score. Alright. Looks like you score several points when you score in this game. Do you score in increments of ten, perhaps? Let's see if we can match that. Yeah, ten goals! Oh, baby. No, I had it! It was in my hand! Get back here! Can't tell what's going on. I'm scared. <laughs> This game needs, like, a jump button that we can use to, uh, catch a ball that's been lobbed. Because you it seems like you just kind of have to hold that. <laughs> there are many graphics. Love when a game has graphics. Yeah, we scored, baby! How come I only got three points? What a rip! What did they do that was different, I wonder? <laughs> I'm sure they did something different, but I don't know what. Do you have to charge it? Maybe. Oh, it looks like they're charging it up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Understood. So you gotta get, like, a full stick of butter right up in the goal. The bigger the charge, the more puntos you get. Oh, I got the ball back. Oh, it's big. Huh. What a pass. Eh. <gasps> the lead is secured. Oh, fuck. We might actually win. <laughs> we had a huge deficit. With the low time jingle. We just gotta play defense. We just gotta play defense for a bit. Oh no, their passing is immaculate. I'm hitting this shit out of here, baby. We got it. I can just sit in this corner. <laughs> yes! Alright, we figured out Buster Ball. Win! Look at this font. This is a lovely font.
We were almost right with 6969 as our password. Team select. Misuzu. Let's go to... Let's do one more. Let's go to Sendai. We can do one more. Time War font? Yeah, exactly. I wonder if the obstacles will be different. I wonder if your choice of stadium actually determines, like, the obstacles. Oh, it definitely does. Okay, so we gotta shoot it upwards for the first half. I can't see shit on top of this fence. <laughs> Eyeballs just don't work so good. A raid! A raid from my boy Shin underscore Kojin. Thank you so much, Kojin. Kojin, I can only imagine. Watch the Splatoon thing. Kronikus, thank you for the host. We're playing Buster Ball right now for the game uh, for the game gear. I almost said the GameCube. Could you imagine? How was the Splatoon thing? I didn't I didn't see it. Tag thing for the 39 whole years. We're reaching impressive frame rates that mankind never thought possible. Thank you for the 39 whole years, Kojin! All these 39s. New Squid Game looks good. That's I'm glad to hear it. I didn't see any of it. I saw I saw uh, tweets about Squid Game. I can't see a goddamn thing on this fence. Just absolutely can't see shit, Captain. It looks like if it has enough speed, it can actually bounce over the fence, which is pretty dope. No! Okay. It's alright, I got my own rebound. Yeah, we're in a rave. Quality of Life Edition's Banger OST. Some other sick new stuff. I'm glad to hear it. There will be a great many Splat 3 streams, I assume. <laughs> Local man desperately tries to score a goal in Buster Ball. It's harder than it looks. Wait! No! Okay. Not a problem. Trying to bank it off the walls and shit. Eh. It is exceedingly difficult to comprehend action at this frame rate. You just can't. What a steal! The tepid snake! Hey, for the raid, Tepid Snake. We're playing Buster Ball for the game gear at the moment. We're getting a lot of raids today. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, that was a sick pass! Eh. It's an absolute bloodbath at the goal. We're playing Buster Ball. You know... There's no time! We gotta go! Both of my ships are down. Alright, we're gonna be down at halftime, I assume. Not by much, though, because the opposing team also did not score other than, like, 
one goal and it wasn't worth that much. They got like a little baby goal. Alright, fair enough. What was the score? Like one to two? It's just one to nothing, actually. They only scored a single point. It's not a problem. Alright, now we're shooting downwards for the second half. Always a bop. This game does have some good jams. It seems like it's more optimal to shoot diagonally, generally. And it also seems like we just want to always be charging a shot. That way the instant we touch the ball, we can immediately just get rid of it. Oh, I'm in front of the goal! Eh. Oh, I'm trying to swerve him! Eh. Oh, there's landmines in the way. <laughs> it's no wonder they weren't able to score very well, either. There were landmines in front of the goal, you just step on them, you eat shit. It's alright. Now we have that piece of data. That means we can't walk it in. That means we have to, uh... We have to kind of shoot it from a distance. Must become Buster Ball Champ. That's what I'm saying, Bone Masher. You should have saw the traps in fucking Killer Ball. Now there's a game, or Skate Ball, rather. Are you okay? <laughs> Thank you, Space Hopper Copter. I can't tell what's going on. Ball is bouncing every which way. There we go. Fucking send it. Oh, it actually hopped over. No, no, we have not played Speedball 2. You think we're gonna open the stream with Speedball 2? You're out of your mind. Oh, that almost banked in. That would have been sick. The frame rate gets worse every time we approach the laser barriers. Yeah, you cannot perceive them without frame drops. Yes, there we go! Big Poon Toes, baby! The ten bag! Enormous Poon Toes, you love to see it. Now all we gotta do is sit on that lead? That's all we need! Gotta play defense for 10 Marvel seconds, which is actually like 90 seconds. Oh, oh, huh. I figured it out. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, we played some sick shit, Mike. We played Killer Ball. We played Skate Ball. Right now we're playing Buster Ball. We're exclusively playing games with Ball in the title today. The two criteria are... Does it have Ball in the name? And is it belligerent? <laughs> That's basically it. Nice. Alright, we did it. Yeah, is game, is ball. Win! Now, if we were to fight against every other team on the roster, we'd be here all day. I think we get the gist of Buster Ball. Let's see what else we got. 9845! You too can continue where I left off if you punch that in. Probably. Oh my gosh! Let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> yeah, Bill Lambeer. I think we... Did we play Bill Lambeer's combat basketball? I think we streamed that at some point. I feel like we probably did. Anyway, we're playing Ball Jacks. For the Genesis. This game did not come out in North America, as far as I'm aware. This only had a Europe and Japanese release. This is probably the least sport-like... <laughs> one, but it is a ball game. Hot jams. Yeah, hot jams alert. Namco, or Namcot, according to the box art on the right. <laughs> Why did I close? Why did I close Keg of Fusion? We immediately needed that open again. There we go. Ball jacks! Check some incorrect, that's a good sign. Namco. Namco. Ooh, nice voice sample. Training room versus mode. World Championship! Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, we're ballin'. Grand Arena standing on the center of the metropolis. Here commence a hot battle from now on. Are there any questions? Stage 1. World Championship Ranking 5. So our objective in this game is to grab... We're the, we're the robot on the left. And there are four balls total. We have to try and grab all of them to make sure that all of them are on our side of the field. You got two little grabby hands that you can grab balls with. You just want to try and you want to seize them all when they're all on your side. This stream brought to you by Bill Lambert's Combat Balls. balls, 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 balls <laughs> Thank you, RG, for the 100 balls. balls, balls, balls ah, shit! We exploded. We got to get a new robot. Whenever all four balls are on the same side of the field, that's when the timers in the middle go down. And it's also possible to hit your opponent with the balls while you're, uh, dragging them to your side of the field. And that's crucial to buy yourself some time, generally, because they have to spawn in a new robot while that's happening. So you can see we have a 10 second timer underneath the main, like, three minute timer for the round. That's the, that's the amount of time that we're allowed for them to have all four of the balls on their side of the field. Yeah, just murder him. We gotta try and uh, make contact with him when we grab one. There we go. And then that buys you a little bit of time. Because he has to get himself a new robot. Yeah, so our 10 second timer is going to go down a bit while we're respawning. Balls move kind of fast. Yeah, they do. It is a weirdly difficult game. If only because the meta is more based on 
killing them than actually grabbing the balls. Generally, what you're really trying to do is blow them up. <laughs> yeah, eyes plague for keeps. And while they're uh, while they're dragging, while they're dragging balls to their side, you can also like grab them back to your side. You can like negate their grab. But they can also, like, move them around while you're doing that. There's a lot of... There's a lot of push and pull here. <laughs> there we go. They're all mine! You fool! Oh, we ran out of time. But I think we still won, because we had four. Yeah, yeah, we still had... When the time ran out, we had all four on our side of the field, so we won the first round. It's fighting game style, it's first to two. So we're just gonna get really aggressive and just try to use the balls as, like, weapons. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna... We're just gonna try and bludgeon this motherfucker with them whenever we grab them. Yeah, the UI's good. Don't you dare. This one's mine. Oh, I got two! I got a double! Yes! Ball Jacks tournament, that'd be sick. No! Alright, you got me. It's alright. We'll just spawn in a new one. Yeah, you have a significant, like, time handicap. You're given way more time than your opponents have. Oh, I got him! Damn, he's good. His defense is immaculate. Yeah, quickly grab the balls! Oh, I got a double. They're all mine! Oh, he's fighting back. The main problem is you have to really try not to, like, get hit by the balls <laughs> when they're on their way back. It's really easy to get hit by them. That's all right. We got time to spare. Special Taco! Thank you for the 38 whole years. You got me. But you can't make my timer go down before I respawn yet. Yeah. Going to bludgeon you with these balls. Oh no! Alright, fair enough. Oh, it's two to two. What happens? Playoff. Keep more than three balls sooner than enemy. <laughs> Got him, GG's. Eat shit, nerd. Stage two, world championship ranking four. Magnus 40. Yeah, no repair in overtime. Oh, they really try to, like, 
grab the balls that are right the fuck next to you to, like, force you to take damage. Yeah, they're actually trying for it. That's all right. We can do that. We can do that. It's not a problem. Get really aggressive. Never mind. Never mind. We're definitely gonna lose this one. It looks like this game gets very difficult very fast. They get better at dodging, too. We can't really seem to hit them as much. Oh, there we go. Oh, that might be it. Great. Game good. Game difficult, though. You just gotta secure the killing blow whenever you can. You can't play this to just, like, grab the balls. You have to actively... Make it your goal to kill them to give you the time you need. Oh, he almost... We almost timed him out. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Are there any differences between robots? I assume no, but I don't know for sure. I assume they're the same. Oh, my aim is bad must improve aim. There we go. There's some good hits. This game divides your attention in a very interesting way, because you have to be hyper-careful not to get melee attacked <laughs> by these balls as you're retrieving them. There we go. That's all we needed. Oh no. We're gonna have to do it again. Oh, you probably- he might time me out. Is what I would say! Don't you dare. Okay, this is good. <laughs> it really doesn't- Okay, we got him. Even while dead, we got him. <laughs> Damn, this game is stressful. It's a stressful game right here. Ranking three. Cool change of scenery. Sort of. Yeah, he's me, but angry. Oh, that was just rude. No! Alright, oh, you got me. <laughs> we actually, like, gate-kept for a while while we were exploding. We didn't lose as much time. He 
These ones are mine. Thank you. This one is mine. This one also. Nope. 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 You put that back. You put that ball back. Nah! Are right, you got me. We were doing well enough that they weren't able to run our timer down at all. Got him. Oh, but I can't... I whiffed a crucial attack and I wasn't able to make a play. That's okay. That's not a problem. Fuck. You have to manually go back to the middle when you explode, too. Yeah, whiffing is deadly in this game. Don't whiff. Somehow we lost that ball entirely. Oh, we actually, like, distracted him with that hit. You whiffed! Look at all that time he lost from whiffing. You fool. Now it was me who whiffed. Okay. No! Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. It's a brutal game. I feel like this is the kind of game that would be a mini-game in a different game. But here they've dedicated the entire project to this concept. Oh, got 0.8 seconds. Yes? Yeah, run that timer down. Yeah, keep running that timer down. Yeah, this game's cool, I agree. I wouldn't mind seeing more games that were vaguely like this one. What a whiff! Oh, you whiffed! Damn, we weren't able to get any time down off of it, though. <laughs> Shit! It's easy to explode in this game. Exceedingly easy to explode. You have a very explodable character. But I think he's about one hit away from exploding himself, yeah. Give me that ball! Did we get him? Yes! Unfortunately, that was only one round. There remains yet more work to do. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Zetsu. <laughs> the only way to rate games is on how easily do you explode in them. No! Well, that's going to be a lot of time off. Who is a jam? This game's got bops. I think we need... Yeah, we just needed, like, one more hit. Alright, we got to kill a second. Oh, he whiffed! Oh! <laughs> He's desperate! Jams are inappropriately funky, how dare you. I agree, though. Shh! 
shit! I don't think he's gonna be able to take any time off my timer, though. Yeah. We need to secure another KO. Never mind! <laughs> he whiffed! You're, man, you're really not allowed to whiff in this game. Not when you're on a timer like that. Full metal head! I'm having a grand old time. This game's fantastic. This one you can't damage? Let's find out. It looks like we can. I don't know if he, uh... I don't know if he can explode, though. Oh, he only has a one-second timer. You're probably right. Then you're probably not allowed to cheese him by exploding him. You probably have to do it, like, as legit as possible. But how do we do that, exactly? Damn, he's good. Oh no, he can explode me, though. I don't think he's gonna get any time off. Yeah, it's not a problem. Half a second. It might just come down to who's got the most balls on the other side at the very end. Yeah, we can hit him. I don't think it does anything, though. Don't you dare. That ball is mine. The ball is mine. I guess it distracts him very briefly when you hit him. <laughs> like, like, very briefly. He is aiming for me with these. <laughs> oh shit, that's not good. Oh, you can't whiff those. Can't whiff those in times of crisis. Very good crunchy sounds we're hearing. Look at how they juke the balls back and forth when you're trying to reclaim them. Reminds you of Peepo? I miss Peepo. We didn't know what we had with Peepo. We didn't know what we had until he was gone. I think he just hit himself with that ball. We very briefly ran his timer down. Got him! <laughs> cool. Can we do that again? Someone earlier said that this sounds like music you'd hear in, like, a billiards game. And I have to agree. <laughs> These are, like, side pocket jams. Oh, that's not good. Tin Pot Gamer! Thank you for the host. You return those balls right now. The problem is we're not allowed to be 
particularly aggressive while trying to knock uh, the balls back that he's stealing. Because in order to do that, it puts us directly into the line of fire. Got him! <laughs> that was a mess. World Championship Rank 1 Destroyer! I don't got a good feeling about this. That man looks dangerous. He is, he is gunning for me. <laughs> there is malicious intent in these plays. We've already exploded. He's not going to be able to kill any time, though. No. No, I need that ball. No, I need those balls. Ah, shit. Alright, fair enough. He doesn't seem smart enough to, like, put the balls away when he grabs them. So we've been able to get away with not having any time lost. Which is, you know, pretty good. <laughs> Is he keeping balls to throw at us? Maybe. Oh, you can't whiff those. You can't whiff those attacks. We just got two tenths of a second. Two tenths of a second. It's all we need to inflict. If we can KO him one more time. That should be easy enough. His defensive posture is immaculate. Give me these. Now give me this one, too. No, you don't understand. I need all of them, sir. I need all four of the balls. Ah, shit. Let me just inflict a killing blow. All right, he's going to get, like, two or three seconds on me. It's not going to be enough. Alright, he's not going to be able to kill our time any either. Yeah, he takes a lot of hits. He's, uh, he's a tricky one. He's a sneaky little bastard. What? Yeah, the deadly whiff. Don't whiff. Don't whiff at this game. Got him. <laughs> okay, cool. Ball jacks. More like ball sacks, am I right? Oh, that's some good humor there. Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, I agree. You could put this in Vortex Gallery. It'd be sick. I imagine there's actual tech you could apply to this game. Oh, it's gonna be good! So much time, yes! We just need a few more. Just need a few more plays like that. We're about to explode, though. That's not great. We get touched again, yeah. Oh, he whiffed. He's not going to be able to take any time from us. Let's 
game requires a strangely high level of concentration. <laughs> The hands sound like Johnny Test Whip Cracks. I saw an episode, not an episode, I saw a YouTube video that contained one episode of Johnny Test and it counted like all the whip crack sounds in it. I think it was something like 120 in a single episode. It was some ludicrously high number. What a television show. <laughs> Dino said he was going to play board games. I can't wait. Wait. What is that? You promised board games and here you are literally throwing hands. Yeah! I can't believe this. Please help me get over this chat by joining me in dropping the fabled. E. <laughs> Thank you, Dubstep Paladin. E. E. This is the best ball game. Ball Jacks, the greatest one. Oh, I whiffed though. That was a big whiff. Was not able to secure a lead with that whiff. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, John TTS sounds so upset. <laughs> he says, I can't believe this. Literally cannot fathom. Oh, we stole it at the last second! Eat shit, nerd. Got him. World champ. Oh, is this the champ? Tuned HHR 100. I didn't realize we had made it all the way to the championship. What's this guy got that we don't? He, he's tuned, but what does that mean? Well, for one, he's got better aim than we have. You got me. Oh, he stumbled a bit trying to grab those. He didn't kill as much time as he could have. Let's see if he can say this right. Challenge. He sort of said it right, yeah. Thank you, Calabari fan, for the 100 championships. Alright, we got about a second and a half off of him. Belligerent ball games, you say. Shame Square Enix never made Blitz Ball into its own game. That would be pretty belligerent. <laughs> Blitz Ball is mostly a game of. At, I'll tell you what. It wasn't until uh, it wasn't until we did that Captain Subasa stream with nothing excess that I realized how much Blitz Ball is literally just Captain Subasa. I hadn't realized until that moment. But technically, there's loads of Blitzball games. They're just all, you know, painted different. <laughs> oh, that's big. Oh, that's huge. Never mind, we only got two tenths of a second. Fuck! Batman returns NES for $25. That's a good buy. I found that version of the game to be impossible, but then again, a lot of NES beat-em-ups seem to be P.O.W. for NES. I don't know what the fuck is up with that game. There's an impossible game for aliens.
You did the thing I wanted to do. Oh, he's gonna get so much time off of me. Just gotta try to blow him up. Ah, we couldn't drag it all the way in time. Fair enough. The arcade game? Which one? You talking about, uh, fucking Batman Forever, the arcade game? Because that's, like, easily the greatest. Oh, P.O.W., that makes more sense. I thought we were talking- I thought we were back on Batman. Batman... It's the arcade game. Batman, uh, Batman Forever, I think it is. One of the greatest Batman games ever made. Like, top three. Easily. <laughs> yeah, the very same one, Raccoon. That game's fucking great. I'm surprised Mame can run it. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, he probably got us. He's probably got us beat. Only half a second! The hell am I gonna do with half a second? Yeah, you gotta try to do this in such a way that the balls do not make contact with you on the way back. <laughs> and they really try to! Alright, fair enough. The champion is too powerful. We got other games to look at. Yeah, he was cooking! Let's look at something else, see what else we got in here. We'll concede to the champion this time. But only because there's like seven more games I want to look at. Yeah, this game's great, though. This is, like, an easy recommend. Ball Jacks game's fantastic. <laughs> I think we had another one on Genesis. Yeah, we have to look at Wrestle Ball! Technically, this is called Power Ball in the United States, but due to ignorance and the fact that it's called Wrestle Ball in Japan, we're going to play the Japanese version. I think all the menus are in English anyway, so I don't think it matters. But just Wrestle Ball is the better name. <laughs> More checksums incorrect. Always a good sign. Yeah, look at this intro. Go! Oh, it's John Wrestle Ball! Look at that crowd! Alright, I'm in. It's all I needed to see. Wrestle Ball League Battle Royal Training Mode! You're out of your mind. We don't need no training. The Namco Pac Men, the Judo Team, Segata Sanshiro Team, the Korean Taekwondo team, Capoeira. Oh, they're all so good. Very good teams. We might pick the boxing team. Might pick the John boxing team. The Pac-Man team is actually like hot garbage because all their stats, they have maximum accuracy, right? 
uh, like all their accuracy except for the goalkeeper is 100. I don't know what accuracy determines exactly. The problem with this team is everyone's run speed is like unplayably slow. Like you see the top, the first column speed, everyone is like 30s or whatever. But if we go over here, this team's got like 80s and 90s for speed. And being able to move faster is very important. So I think we're going to pick the USA Heavy Boxers, yeah. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Whoops. Input password. I don't think that worked. Yeah, Mike Titan. We have 50 bonus points to distribute among our team. Let's use that to... Shore up a few weaknesses. We can make this guy a little bit faster. We can make this guy a little bit stronger. Power is pretty unsavably low already, but put some there. Uh, let's see. Goalkeeper probably needs a little bit more speed. I'm gonna dump most of this into speed, actually. Yeah. That seems fine. The Namco stars immediately! So this game is closest to Speedball of, uh, of any of the things we've played so far today. Got a nice little mini-map. I think we have the black team? Yeah. We have special moves we can do on offense and defense. Oh, pushing it! Oh, we almost made it. We almost scored immediately. It would have been sick. Yeah, you don't usually see the USA team as the speed team. That is true. Yeah, we corkscrewed him. And whenever we hit people with our special moves, they actually, like, stay down for a bit. That guy is still down. So you can kind of use that to... Whoops. You can kind of use that to create openings for yourself, is to just fucking knock people out. Don't hit it out of bounds. Almost hit it out of bounds. Oh, he's cooking! No, he caught it! So this is mostly a game of trying to secure some sort of an opening, either by just killing your opposition. We definitely just jumped on a guy. We have to... I think shooting it diagonally is usually what works in this game. <laughs> we just pancaked a guy! <laughs> Went for the dive kick! Yes! Now, I wonder if giving characters more power determines, like, how much... How, how much downtime there is when you knock somebody down with a special move. Like, it might determine how long they stay down. So there could be there could be merit in giving people more power to earn yourself more free time while players are unconscious. Yeah, we're playing <laughs> we're playing Mario Strikers. This game is a huge clusterfuck all the time, and I kind of love it. Every time we shoot the ball upwards, the person that is further ahead that I think is going to go get the ball does not. Yeah, I don't know if the Pac-Man team has the speed discrepancy while the AI is playing as them. Wild Boys, it's difficult to describe, but they don't work quite the same way. <laughs> yeah, the dude that's ahead of us, when we try to do that, he just leaves. For whatever reason. Alright. Zero to zero at the end of the first quarter. Who's gonna strike first? Who will secure first blood? Okay, we're shooting downwards now.
Get back here. Huh. Oh, this is good. We got some free time. <laughs> it's a fucking bloodbath at the goal line. No, there's no wrestling happening near the ball. You are correct. You guessed wrong, you fool. Oh, what a jumping grab! Yes, Hagstralian. Basically. Yeah, that guy will never be balling. Whoops, I've kicked it out of bounds. You have to guess which of them has the ball when that happens. And if you guess wrong, they just break away with it. What a lariat. Get back here. I can't catch him. Okay. Yeah, football wishes it was as cool as wrestle ball. What this game needs is command grabs. We need more command grabs. We saw them in a... We saw them in Killer Ball. But we haven't seen any command grabs in Wrestle Ball. The one game you'd expect to really have them. That's okay. Don't get sat on, idiot. I agree. Every game is improved by the presence of command grabs. I'm gonna walk it in! Huh. Damn, he's good. Somehow he got that. Yeah, they're always acting like they won't get command grabbed. <laughs> Why do we look like the troopers from Spaceballs? Could you imagine? there was a Spaceballs video game where you actually played some kind of a fictional sport called Spaceballs. Box versus Nam. Still no score. Who's gonna score first? gonna keep charging up my special tackles that way whenever I do lose the ball. I can attack them in such a way that they stay down for longer. Ooh. Oh, that almost went it! Yes! Goal! We got it! All right, now we just got to play defense. That's all we got to do. Yeah, boot! Well done, Turner. The bag has been secured. All we got to do is sit on it. I kicked it out of bounds like a fool, like a buffoon. See. How did he know? I wish my attackers did not run away from the ball when I kick it to them. They're afraid of the ball for whatever reason. 
I'm gonna need my teammates to be a little more courageous than that. <laughs> Don't get flattened. Another one. I'm gonna walk it in. I'm gonna walk it in. I'm not gonna walk it in. I thought about it. That was the wrong way. That was a bad kick. Yeah, the stomp move that we have is pretty strong. Yeah, I agree. There's not... There doesn't seem to be as many, like, weird experimental sport games. That's kind of what we're celebrating today. Is that weird era of video games where everyone was making, like, incredibly odd... <laughs> very combat-heavy sports. Get that ball out of here. Wow, the goalkeeper can send it far. No, no, no. It, t it changes color depending on how much we charge it. All right. Cool. A hundred foot robot golf. Yeah! That wasn't even like... That was like that was more of a speed golf game, right? Like you play golf in it, but wasn't it the It was more like a get it in the hole first kind of game? Which I guess that new Mario Golf also used as a concept thing that game had speed golf as well. Oh, I've got an opening. Let's go. You'll never catch me. He caught me. <laughs> <laughs> How did he know? He's a genius. He input red. He's cheating. Can I get a ref out here? Oh no, they're fighting back. They don't like that they're down in the fourth quarter. They're getting aggressive, I don't like it! We gotta hold on. Yeah, there's a lot of cool Kunio sports games. There was a Kunio basketball game on the Famicom that was incredibly good. We're talking basketball games so sick that A, the basketball hoops have more than one net. And also the game is so sick that you can steal the net and then attach it to your hoop so that they don't have any. <laughs> it's the greatest game ever made. Yeah, three nets stacked on top of each other. It's fucking great. Desperately trying to keep it on the bottom half of the field. Trying to kill as much time as I possibly can. We already have the lead. All we gotta do is sit. Just gotta sit on it. How did I whiff? All right. Let's keep it out of offside rules. I don't actually know the rules of soccer well enough to tell you. This game is icing. All right, I know what icing is. <laughs> Alright, we got this. 
Easy W, baby. Games are pretty long in this, though, so I don't really feel the need to do another one. I'll take my one to zero. Because there's a bunch of other games we want to look at today. We did it. We defeated the Namco stars. No Pac-Man. Yeah, the stage is very long, like the, the field. Puzek! Puzek password! And then you get some bonus stat points that you can squander wherever you want. I, am, I assume if we had increased our power stat that we would have kicked farther or faster, or both. And it probably would have helped us uh, score a little bit better if we had more kicking power. That's a cool game. Let's see what else we got in here. Too many ball games. Entirely too many ball games. Let's take a relatively brief look, because I don't think it'll take that long to get through a game. At Cyberball! Football in the 21st century! Now, this is actually based on American football. And I must draw special attention to the... Whoops. Must draw special attention to the uh, text at the bottom that claims that the year is 2022 and the last human player has been eliminated from the game. Now only robots five times the size of humans can withstand the violence and destruction. The far-off future of 2022. We'll never live to see that. Anyway, let's play Cyberball. This game got a sequel a year later. Uh, Cyberball, what was it, 2072? Cyberball, I don't remember the year of the sequel. There's a sequel, though. So this is based on American football. Sort of. Okay, there we go. We need to fix the... Huge fucking window size. There we go. Because this game tries to boot in, like, double window. Oh, that means I probably have to put this in mono, because it'll only be in our left ear. Uh, how do I mono this again? Advanced audio properties, desktop audio, mono. There we go. That way you don't just hear it in your left ear, because this is like two side-by-side -side cabinets, usually in situations like that. You only hear the audio <laughs> in one side because uh, the other the other speaker is dedicated to the other side of the cab. Cyberball, football in the twenty first century. I seem to recall this cabinet's really quiet. This game is going to run us a lot of credits too. Cyberball team. Welcome to Cyberball. Marry me with my Adam Admar. Fun useless fact. Hi. On the Midway Classics collection on PS3 and Xbox 360 by default it shows both screens at the same time for this game. <laughs> Does it really? You want it screen real estate? <laughs> Lol la <mau>, no die. <laughs> That's pretty good. The Los Angeles Assassins, the New York Enforcers. We don't want to use those top two teams, though, because they're the instructional division. That's the baby league. We want to pick one of the bottom four. I guess we'll go with the... Socrates gifted balls deep football a sub. Thank you so much, Socrates. I guess we'll go with the Miami Terminators for my, for my boy Nothing Excess. Gotta pick the Miami team. There we go. My opponent, the San Francisco Hitmen. For people who don't know the rules of American football, generally you just want to advance the ball as far as you can before you are knocked over by the opposing team. So we have the ball right now. So we were knocked down at that purple line. We need to advance it to that yellow line before the football explodes. You can see at the top of the screen that the ball status is cool. Instead of having downs, numbered downs, that would force you to relinquish control of the ball, in this game, the football is slowly heating up. And if you don't get to, if you don't score a first down, if you don't get to that yellow line before it heats up too much, the football explodes 
and you relinquish possession of the ball. Yeah, that makes sense. Now we're just picking plays in the meantime, trying to advance the ball as fast as we can. Oh, I'm out of here, baby! You can't catch me! <laughs> Touchdown! Touchdown. Yes! Mm, feels good. Let's do a running play. Easy game for babies. Did you see that pass? <laughs> the conversion's no good. The quarterback is dead. The quarterback exploded. He's just dead now. We're gonna have to buy a new quarterback. He's just dead. Alright, so we kicked it to the other team. Now we gotta kill the guy with the ball. There we go. Now our goal is to prevent the other team from making it to that yellow line. Very simple concept. Yeah, there's the defuse line. We don't want them to get to the defuse line. We want the we want the football to explode on them. Because that'll give us the ball back, according to the rules of this video game. Sadly, real life American football does not have detonating footballs. I think it would add a little bit of spice to it personally. But the NFL's too chicken shit to do that. Yeah, the ball is warm. It's because they're taking too long to get to that yellow line. Also note that even though we're in the lead, it forces you to put another credit in. You just can't 1cc this game. You just can't. Put in more money, idiot. Yeah, pay up, sucker. And this game has six, like... This game has six periods instead of four quarters. Which means you'd need to spend, like... A dollar fifty to do a full game. Even if you've been in... Even if you're in the lead. Like, it doesn't matter. Phoenix 100k! Marry me with my money. The UK Cyberball Flyer is violent. January 2022, the last human to play the game, Dave Rocket Ralston, decapitated by a face masking violation. Oh my god. He got killed in a face masking accident. Viola Veilden, thank you for the follow. Phoenix 100k, thank you for the dollar he do. Oh, the ball exploded turnover. They couldn't get there before the ball exploded and it gave us the ball back. Cool. Reserve quarterback. We had to replace our quarterback. <laughs> Bury me with my balls. Thank you, Shadrock. Oh my God, we just had to spawn him in. Balls. Oh, we were cooking. How come we have to go halfway down the field before the ball explodes? This is an NFL blitz style where you have to go 30 yards, and huh? we gotta go the entire length of the field. Understood. What a pass! The ball is warming up. It's not looking good. We gotta get there quick. He's open! I don't think we got there. That's all right. He got knocked down at the one yard line. Put another quarter in, stupid dummy. <laughs> yeah, it's just the end of the period, so we can just run it in. Adam's useless facts! Marry me with my money. Hey, at least this game fleeces you for your money at normal intervals. That's true. Your rivals would just randomly tell you in the middle of the action to insert money or eat shit. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Oh, no. Let's do, uh... What does that say? Spin 30,000 to upgrade smoking quarterback. Oh, was he damaged? Alright, we repaired our quarterback. He's fine. 
<laughs> I would simply stop smoking. Touchdown! Touchdown. Yes! I'm gonna run it in. I'm about to run this shit in. It's about to be easy. Here I go. <laughs> he did not catch the ball like I thought he would. John Matrix, thank you for the 19 whole years. They didn't quite catch that ball the way I envisioned it in my head. That's okay. The good news is we're crushing it right now. Yeah, it still didn't defuse. I mean, maybe it's better that way. If, like, nobody caught the ball... Then there was nobody for the ball to explode on. So maybe it's better that no one touched it. Interception. Interception! We caught the ball, they threw it to the other team, and we caught it. We have the ball once more. I didn't even know this game had interceptions. Is the defuse only at the 50? It might be, actually. I don't think we caught that ball. Skynet, thank you for the dollar we do. Oh, maybe we did. Bury me with my money. Now that humanity has been eradicated, we can finally complete our true mission. To create the sickest football league of all time. You're goddamn right, thank you, Skynet. We must insert more quarters. This game's gonna run us a dollar and fifty cents. The halftime show! Well, there they go. <laughs> we very briefly had a halftime show. I'm throwing it deep, I'm throwing it to the end zone. Never mind. We threw it to the wrong guy. <laughs> Let's go. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> no, we got sacked. Oh no, ball status critical. If we don't score on this play, the ball is going to explode. I think that guy's dead. Good thing he was a robot. I can't believe that receiver's fucking dead. Yo, what's up, Lucy? We're playing Cyberball. Who's gotta play defense? Who's gonna play? Who's gotta play good, rock solid defense? Do not let them reach the yellow line. not bad. This is not River City Dodgeball, you are correct. To be fair, that is an untouchably powerful sports game. Yes! <laughs> Incomplete pass. Yeah, Mike, I agree. There's a lot of console versions of this game, too. I think it's on Genesis. I think it's on... Was it on Super Nintendo? I don't remember... I know there's a Genesis version of Cyberball. No! They defused the ball. This will not do. We only have $32,000 in the team's bank. This is a disaster. It's alright. Yeah, welcome to 2022. The dystopian future that Cyberball takes place in takes place in 2022. <laughs> There's six periods in this game, Dragon Denton. And you gotta put in a new quarter for all of them. Do some long-ranged defense. Don't let them throw the deep ball. Oh, 
Oh, he threw the short pass. They were smart. They were very smart. They might score a touchdown. Interception at the one yard line! We gotta get this ball out of the end zone. <laughs> Alright, we intercepted it. Easy buckets, baby! I'm out of here! You can't catch me! Alright, you caught me. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. We had to replace our running back, who tragically died attempting the extra point. <laughs> there we go, I'll just bring in a new one. Oh, I'm gone! Touchdown! Yes! Touchdown. This game's great. Yeah, easy money. Watch this conversion. Conversion is good! It's 19 to nothing. I think victory is assured at this point. Streamer should not say that on stream. <laughs> this is where things go tragically wrong, now that we've said that. Yeah, exactly, Andros. You have to... You have to give somebody the exploding football in order to attempt... ...an extra point after a touchdown. If you do a running play, you get two points. But either way, you're putting your players in immense danger. Which period are we in? Are we in the sixth period yet? Are we gonna shut out the opposing team? In an arcade game? Usually those are rigged as shit, but it's going kinda well. Mossmouth TV! Thank you for the five whole gift subs. We're playing incredibly powerful ball games today. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. You didn't have to do that, but you did it anyway. I appreciate you. Yeah, we're playing some exploding football at the moment. We're almost at the end of Cyberball here, but we got more ball games to look at afterwards. That's a good point, actually. Have I played Death Row for Xbox? I think I have, yeah. It wasn't on my stream, though. Uh, every so often... Oh my god, the quarterback died! <laughs> Who'd we sacked him? Um... Every so often, I'll be on Dick Debonair's stream, and we'll do, like, a sports ball day. I think we played Death Row on one of those sports ball streams over at Dick Debonair's channel. But I haven't streamed it yet. I could! At some point, we will get to it, don't you worry. We'll get to it on this channel. I don't think we did uh, yet, though. Uh, this pass. It's only 18 more seconds. I think we can just run this out. There we go, let's run that timer out. The Terminators win! That was for my boy, Nothing Excess. The Miami Terminators. And then it's game over. What, you think you get to play in that- You think you get to play against another team? You think it's like NBA Jam style, where it's like, play another team, now that you've won? No. This game rolls credits after you win. We got the top score! Quarter million dollars! There, there we go, Cyberball team, it rolls credits. What game out of the vast library I've played has the most drunk soundtrack? <sighs> what games have I played that has really drunk music? <laughs> 
probably all of the... Uh, let me see. There's got to be, like, a platform in particular. Sailor Moon Arcade did have some drunk music. Probably a lot of the bootlegs we've played have had really drunk music. We've had, we've done several bootleg streams. Crazy Bus? I haven't streamed Crazy Bus. It's not really that much of a game, to be honest, but maybe we'll get to it at some point. We can do Venezuelan Bus Day. <laughs> When's the Sailor Moon streams? We've done one. We've done a Sailor Moon stream. We did a we did a stream exclusively about Sailor Moon beat 'em ups. Oh, you want to be on for the Sailor Moon stream? Why didn't you say so? You are cordially invited to 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 join me on commentary for Sailor Moon uh 2 whenever that stream is. Anyway, more arcade games. Let's look at Stone Ball. <laughs> I don't have an arcade flyer for this game because I don't think it has one. I don't think this game has an arcade flyer, so I can't show it to you. We've got... Whoops. I'm trying to move this window over on my end. There we go. Got hammer noises. Stone Ball! Art and Magic, four players kit. Very good. Art and Magic presents. <laughs> Very good. So this is two-on-two -two caveman behavior. This is a game about cavemen hitting a ball around. Yeah, the visuals are absolutely fantastic in this game. We haven't even put in a coin yet. Go! Right, Welcome in. to Challengers. Welcome to Challengers. Four players simultaneous. Let's see who we got in here. Select your village. Fisher Kings, Islanders, Caverns, Wild Holes. Big trees, cold bears. Give me the cold bears. Ah, shit, we didn't get there in time. Alright, we'll play against the cold bears then. <laughs> the wild holes? I'll tell you what, we'll go we'll face the wild holes. Wild holes. Very good. Shoot, push, pass. This is a three button game. Get ready. Go! Alright. Oh, that's the pass button. Shoot! I didn't... I didn't Super aim right! Huh. Okay. Okay, you gotta... Eh! Yes! Turn that down a bit. This is a very simple game. This is a very simplistic video game. Pass. Thank you for the tutorial during the match. God damn it! <laughs> I'm getting bludgeoned. You, come here. Me unga swing. You get back here. Hey you. No. Oh, damn, he's good. It's all right. It's all right. It's gonna fucking bludgeon the other team to death. Ugh. Damn, they're scoring! This looks like a Windows 98 PC game. Yes, it does. It very much has that kind of energy. 
All right, it's two to two. <laughs> All right, they scored, but at least I fucking killed a guy. Very fast-paced. This video game is just goals left and right. I'm not sure why they explode. It's unclear, I'll be honest with you. You got 20,000 clams riding on this? All stakes are high. Yes! Oh, I tried to stop it. Oh my gosh! Go. Why mushroom clouds? It's unclear. The good news is, enemy defense doesn't seem that great. Yo, eat shit, nerd! Huh. The ball is mine! So much caveman violence in this game. You can just beat the shit out of them. Oh, there's only a few seconds left. <laughs> yeah, we got him. This game is incredibly well animated. Fisher King wins. Fisher King's Hoyen. That's your first victory. Now you can play against another village without Chicken. using new credits. Wow, I get more value out of my quarter. Oh, it actually keeps score. It actually says five to four. It keeps track. That's really good. Cavern. Caverns. Get ready. It's raining. Yo. This game is sick. You die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here. There we go. Don't get back here! Why does a bird have the ball? Get back here! Bird! Eh! I'm gonna flatten this bird. There we go. <laughs> this game is great. Die. No! There's so much happening. Everything happens so much. Oh, good steal. Lightning strikes. Oh, I tried to stop it. This game is a this is a, this is a very hot mess, yeah. But it's like a charming one. It's like a really charming hot mess. I wonder if the different villages have different stats. I imagine they don't. <laughs> Shoot you, idiot! <laughs> There's no time. Ah, uh, we couldn't get the we couldn't get the tying goal in there in time. All right, fair enough. You got me. You got me fair and square. Try once more. You got it. I will put in another quarter. Welcome to challengers. Welcome to challengers. Select your opponent. Put me up against the big trees. Big trees. Yeah, playing some stone ball. Go. This is a very uncivilized game. This is the most literally uncivilized game we've played in quite some time. Superpower. Superpower. The game is swearing at me. That's how I know it's good. There's a frog on the field. Illegal frog activity. We've been playing some sports ball today, yeah. Although not like exclusively sports ball. We've been playing some ball games. 
all day, but not all of them are strictly sports. I wouldn't say Ball Jacks is like a sports game, for example. I wouldn't- I don't- I don't know if Plasma Ball is a sports game either. That was the first thing we played today. It's Plasma Ball. The ball is mine! Extra speed? I was not prepared for the extra speed. Whoa! <laughs> this game is absurd. Yo, what's up, TDX? Welcome to real caveman hours. I don't know if we're going to be able to win any other matches in Stone Ball. I don't think we're scoring in seven seconds. That's okay. Go! There's no time! Ah, shit. Well, we gotta try to win another one. But you can defeat them. Try once more. We gotta try to beat at least one more guy. Select your opponent. Alright, let's fight the uh, cold bears. Cold bear. Get ready. This game are very sick. Oh, you let me get away with murder! We strike first, blood. Okay. Uh. <laughs> My man got juggled. Die. Bird! It's fucking bird land again! Get back here! He's dead. Wait, I figured out the meta. Okay, the meta is just kill the other team. That's what you have to do. Instead of trying to steal the ball by using your steal maneuver, you just bludgeon them. And then you take it from them. That's how you play this game. Now I understand. I was trying to use the steal button. You know, like this diving steel move. Turns out, the easier solution is to just kill them. fighting back. This game becomes impossible from second match onward. I am willing to believe that because we're on the second match and we've already seen, like, a huge difference. Pass, pass, goddammit! Pass, God Who recorded that line? Was that Goaty? That's crazy. Alright, I don't think they can score. I don't think they can win in five, three more seconds. Cool, there we go. Alright, we successfully won two matches of Stone Ball. Let's do one more. Let's see how impossible it gets after winning two matches. Perhaps round three will be the wall, brother. Select your opponent. Gotta go up against the Big Trees team. Big trees. Oh, big. Get ready. Yeah, scaling. Go. This game has big, huge scaling. 
Oh, shmovement. The shmovement. Die. No! I missed. You're not allowed to whiff those. Not when stakes are so high. Oh, what a save! Oh yeah, there is a flaming club on the ground. Let me grab that. What does that do for me? I have some sort of a fire. Oh, he's dead. That's what it does. They just die when you hit him. The ball itself is on fire. Lots of mushroom clouds. You found a neat page on this from the from the art director's website? That's pretty sick. Alright, we're down. We're still down a goal. Do it better, streamer. No! Oh, what a whiff! I'll make you regret whiffing that shot. What a pass! Yeah, go ahead, bike commando. Die. Die. How did he win that interaction? How sway? Alright, we're... Okay. <laughs> Gotta win it to buzzer! I play defense for five seconds. Yeah, we got him! Somehow we pulled that back. We were down one to three. Win. Game is very gorgeous, I agree. Let's take a look at some other games. Stoneball is 10 out of 10. Easily 10 out of 10 video game. This game is fantastic. Let's take a look at... I think we gotta go back to Amiga, yeah. I think we're back to Amiga for most of the rest of this stream, yeah. Let's take a... Actually, I don't know if I can... Is this... I don't know if I would consider this an Amiga game or an arcade game, because it's on Arcadia, which is technically Amiga hardware, but it's in an arcade cabinet. We're gonna look at blast -a ball real quick. Which is like... It's like arcade Amiga game... You still have to put in coins, but it's an Amiga game also. And I, I, you can run it on MAME instead of <laughs> Amiga emulator. I have to, this is the weirdest fucking game, dude. Essentially, the Arcadia was an Amiga, I don't know, 500, 600? Inside of an arcade cabinet. It had some special games for it that you still have to insert quarters for. blast -a ball is one such game. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the Arcadia is weird. I don't know how... I don't have the full skinny on it. Uh, but technically, it's an arcade game. Yeah, Arcadia system featuring the Amiga copyright computer by Commodore Amiga Inc. But it's an arcade game. Oh, turn that down. As you can see, this is a very Amiga game. Blast a Ball is a game about shooting this puck into the goal. We're being prompted to insert a coin. You have to you have to shoot the puck into the opposing team's goal. You have a mini map at the top of the screen. Yeah, this is a frame rate. This game runs at frames. Oh, I'm liking what I'm hearing. Catching a faint whiff of some jams here. Blast a ball. That's a business goose. 
Blast a ball instructions. Bounce the puck off the end of the play field for a line goal, or drive the puck onto the goal placed centrally in front of the goal line for a full goal. Two points. Move the puck by shooting at it or colliding with it. Understood. So this game controls like asteroids. If you've played asteroids, you know exactly how ships are controlled in this game. I guess we'll go with, uh, I don't think it really matters which ship we pick. Go with this one. This one looks neat. We have a very simple objective. Push this puck. Your space tank controls. It's weirdly difficult to control this thing. Even though it's like asteroid style, you have to make constant use of the brakes in this game to halt your momentum. And you stop on a dime when you press the brakes in this game. It's very, very useful for being able to make quick adjustments. Line goal. We scored one point. All right. We can probably do a game or two of this. Because once you've seen it, you pretty much get it right away. <laughs> no! I must put a stop to your advance. Ugh. I like that we have a mini map. Very pleased. There's another version of this on. What was it? Spectrum? I think there's a Spectrum version of this or some shit. There's another version of this that does not have the mini map. Which, like, you know, good fucking luck finding where either you or the puck are relative to each other, then. With no mini-map, you just have no idea. I like that we can see the timer on both sides of the HUD. They didn't put it in the middle, they just gave you two timers. I think some of the other ship types in this game have homing shots as well. And I feel like that would actually create more problems than anything. Not finding this game too difficult, though. We're actually kind of cooking. The question, I suppose, is what the hell were they thinking with the Arcadia to begin with? Because as far as I'm aware, it died off just as quick as it started. There were a few games that were made with the Arcadia in mind. Probably like 10 or less, and <laughs> they backdashed out of that idea very quick. I'm hitting it the wrong way! Eh. Yeah, the Alex 64. That's a good, yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted some of that sweet, sweet arcade money. It's not like they weren't already dominating the computer market, though. <laughs> Game over, out of time. Player one is winning. Player one is winning. Does that mean that there's another half? Or... There is another half. Okay, so you just have to uh, put more money in. Understood. What, you thought you could play a whole game of blast -a ball on one credit? What's wrong with you? You're out of your mind. Sweet, sweet arcade money. Yeah, I do remember that. I wasn't really... You know, alive for most of that, but I do remember it. <laughs> oh, it's getting messy. No! Okay. Crisis averted. 
I was around for the DDR revival of arcades, that's true. I mean, I was born in 92. What was the hot shit in 92? That was like, that's like MK1. And obviously I wasn't going to arcades at the ripe age of one year old. <laughs> in 92. Yeah, I've come to terms with the... I've, I've come to accept that a good chunk of my Twitch chat is older than I am. I, I just happen to... I just happen to enjoy old games. I don't know. I'm not even 30 yet. I turn 30 next month. <laughs> Yeah, I think I agree with that, Phoenix. The gun sound, it's like, alright, I get it. I get the gun sound. <laughs> Easy. I don't think we scored a full goal at any point. I don't think we got a two-pointer. Born when the E.T. game was on shelves. Yeah, I definitely wasn't. Alright, game over, out of time. Player one is winning! Is it four quarters? I can't be bothered to do four quarters. Let's find out. Alright, let's do one more period. Must score ten points. The vibes will be immaculate. No! What impeccable defense! It might just continue until you decide to stop. Yeah. I hadn't considered that. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I've, uh... I've come to terms that my Twitch chat is like a weird amalgamation of three different things, right? 30th birthday stream's gonna be wild. That's, uh, next month, September... September 28th is gonna be the birthday stream. I don't know what I'm doing, but... What the fuck was I about to say? Oh, my... I've, I've come to terms with the fact that my Twitch chat is a weird, like, amalgamation of... A. Uh, old games enthusiasts, which I'm one of. B, uh, fight game enthusiasts, which I'm also one of. And C, people who got here from some other streamer. Probably Lythero. <laughs> Must have ten points. No, my ten points! Eh. Yes! It doesn't even keep score higher than 10. There's only room for one digit. Oh. It's first to 10. Oh. Do you think that the game would have just kept going until somebody got 10 points? Do you think it would have just? Alright, I guess we did it. Fair enough. Take that. We have succeeded at Blast a Ball. Blast a Ball champion. <laughs> One CC. Technically, is more like a four C. Is like a three CC because they kept making you uh, <laughs> keep making you put in more money every period. But that's fine. Whatever. Got here from Psycho. Yeah, he's an old friend of mine. That was a secret Amiga game, yes. The Arcadia is, like, weird. 
like weird arcade Amiga hardware. But let's play some actual Amiga games. Let's play Storm Ball for Amiga. That's what we're gonna play, Storm Ball. Sports sensation of the 21st century. Yeah, the box art is very good. This game is difficult to describe. This game is fucking weird. That's about all I've got to say about it before we jump in. <laughs> Yeah, he's watching Tron in a ski mask. Storm Ball. I don't even know if this game has any tunage. Oh, it does have some tunage. Storm Ball! Storm Ball! Oh, press spacebar. I can do that. Type in the following word from the Storm Ball manual. Fuck. Alright, I'm glad that worked. Uh, versus mode. Options menu. What do we got in here? Nah, it's all fine. We don't gotta, we don't gotta fuck with that. Yeah, the Storm Ball voice sample is pretty crusty. I'm liking this arena. Storm Ball. I'm liking this arena. You got the train going by. You got the ticker. Man, this game is sick. Yeah, we can play money mode. I think that's the main campaign mode. Enter your name. D. No. I think this is me in the helmet. I think this is me. Yeah, this is D. No. 245 pounds, six foot six. None of this is accurate. I think you have to work your way up because you only have so much money. Yeah, right now we only have $20, it says. So we have to face like this guy. Yeah, the, the, the it costs $10 to play against this guy. The son of an English lord. Larry came over to Detroit with his divorced mother. Has bought his way onto the circuit with family money. Larry has never won a match and seems unlikely ever to do so. Wow. How tall and wide is a real Dino? I am short foot short. <laughs> Look at this fucking screen. The game is fixed for tonight. Do you want to play a little sideball? I got ten dollars, yeah, why not? I'll lay you seven to four on to play Larry Caruthers. Okay, so if I bet my ten bucks, I can get seventeen back. Okay, okay, okay. Storm Ball is a hard to describe game. This is our 3D play area. What we have to do is throw the ball, and this game takes place from a weird perspective. So we have to throw the ball into the opposing character's part of the grid, and every square that it covers, we get points for. So we just got like 10 points because it hit 10 squares before we grabbed the ball. Yeah, we got very low FPS. Generally, you're trying to hit as many squares as possible before they retrieve the ball when you throw it. But there's also special blocks. Like this this yellow one right here. If you hit one of these bad boys, you get like 50, 50 points or some shit. It's a weird game. There we go, we hit a 50. So we got like 50 points for that. Generally, you just want to throw it where the other guy isn't. It's a very mysterious game, this one. Time out! Time out! Alright, fair enough. Play. Yeah, it's kind of like weird competitive breakout. Except nothing actually breaks. 
They just kind of throw it and they score points based on how far it traveled and you're desperately trying to get them to, like, not retrieve your ball before it covers a lot of ground and you get massive poon toes for it. Oh, there's a cash block! Cash! Need that cash! Huh. I missed. Got my own rebound. Got the rebound! Yeah, it's a weird game of catch. I think this is a neat idea. I don't know how well implemented it is exactly. End of first quarter! I guess that's me. Stats. I have a foul. I have committed one foul, apparently. What have I done exactly that was against the rules? We must have done something. We'll never know. Play. The ball is mine. The ball is not mine. No! Uh, okay. Not a problem. Throw it in there. Oh, 400 points! Enormous puntos for that throw. We caught our own ball. That might be against the rules. That's true. I'm not sure. No, oh, we hit a zero. It zeroed out our entire score for uh, that throw. So we didn't get anything for it. This game takes place from a very odd perspective. I feel like it could be tilted a little bit more, and it'd be a little bit easier to tell what the fuck we're looking at. But generally, I don't mind it. It's an interesting idea. Yes, <laughs> smurfing in Storm Ball! This game is aggressively Amiga. Play. <laughs> One of the Amiga games I've ever seen. Gotta protect that 50 block. He's trying to score 50 on me. This game does play good. I mean, it's responsive, despite it running at like 5 frames per second. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. And it doesn't seem impossibly difficult either. Then again, this is the first opponent. It could be that... It could be that they're all gamers after this. End of the second quarter. Play. Play. Yeah, this first guy's a jobber. We gotta see who else we can play against. B! We've collected a B! What did that do? Yeah, the view is very odd. This is the kind of sports I'm hoping to see in the future. I hope that we're playing Storm Ball in the future. This is the this is exactly the kind of weird shit I want to see on TV. 30 years from now. Oh, big puntos! Time out. Did you call timeout during your throw? That feels illegal. Or rather, what determines timeouts? Are they called manually? Can I call timeout? We'll never know. No one can truly comprehend Storm Ball. Oh, this is definitely an ESPN 8 type of sport. How frequently is that on TV, by the way? I've definitely caught ESPN 8 on TV before. Do they do that shit, like, once a year? Oh, I almost got my own re- gotta get my own rebound. Yeah, it's true, we have, like, over a thousand points. There's room for a fifth digit, there's room for a ten thousand digit. I can only imagine how gnarly the arenas get. To allow that kind of scorage. Play. A real idiot. Marry me with my money. 
Has anyone made a sick combo video for the new Super Punch Out 2 player mode? I heard Macho Man has some sick stuff. <laughs> If anyone has, Zallard has. I know Zallard did an entire stream about it. Thank you, a real idiot, for a uh, for the dollary do. Zallard did an entire stream dedicated to uh, his chat room doing like 1v1s in the recently discovered Super Punch Out 2 player mode. Turns out that game was multiplayer all these years and we never knew. Yeah, Metal King Slime, a cheat code was recently discovered that allows you to have a second player control, uh, like, the other guy. <laughs> As in, not Mac. <laughs> oh no, it's, he's cooking! Fair enough. Alright, I think we won. End of final quarter, we win 2,200 points to 480 points. Look at this fucking guy. How much money did we get? We got $20 for winning, $100 from our sponsors, $17 for winning the little side bet. You won't be so lucky next time. Yeah, Storm Ball Noir. I'm liking this, like, back alley betting scene. Okay, so it moved us up the ranking. Now we're here. Presumably we have to fight all these guys, but we definitely don't got time for that. We'll do one more. Who's this? Montana Country holds the title of strongest woman in the world. Adopted her name from sponsor. Montana Country Hormonal Steroids. In the Storm Ball Arena, she's a powerful and formidable force. She's on the rub, yeah. She's gonna beat the shit out of us, like, physically. All my money. All my money on this. Okay, so the arena's a different layout here. Looks like the big money zones are... I guess those yellow ones? But they're not tucked into the corners at all. I wonder what those corner, like, white spaces are. It's gonna be harder to retrieve the ball on this one. It's much more wide open. The ball is mine! What do we got over there? 200! Oh, I hit a zero. We got nothing. We got absolutely fuck all for that, because we hit a zero. Okay. Caught my own rebound. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought that was illegal. I guess it's not. I'll take a 50. What a catch! I'm just trying to throw it where she isn't. Times two! Oh, there's like a weird jump space. The ball jumped! this away. I'm just gonna keep making you run for it. I'm gonna keep throwing it in the opposite direction. I will make this your problem. Fucking go get it. <laughs> so there seems to be a dominant strategy in this game, which is just throw it literally anywhere else. 
Could you throw it to a wall near you, catch it over and over again? Wait! We have to try that, you're right. Hold on, you might be onto something. This is gonna be the best game ever made if it lets me do this. Oh, it's not allowed! Play. They thought of everything. Yeah, we found it. We found the illegal move. We're gonna get arrested for storm ball crimes at this rate. Two hundred. Ah, I hit a zero. Wait, we still got four hundred points out of that. Eh. Gotta paint those corners, baby. What happens if I just leave it alone? Just leave it. Okay. I'll get back here. I missed. Oh no, she's cooking! It's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Times two? Love to see big multiplier. Love to see multiplier go up. That is not going to get into the corner zone. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to describe what this game is exactly, Despatch. It's a very odd game. I think we get the gist of this one, though. Don't feel the need to do the other quarters. We got a couple other games I want to look at anyway. This game seems neat, though. This seems extremely Amiga. Where they just take a absolutely bizarre concept and they make a whole game out of it. I think that some music during the gameplay probably would have helped. But generally it's fine. It seems, slow. It seems like a fine game. Your fantasy storm ball team's been doing great, yeah. Stop fucking around. It's time to stop fucking around. Time to play the real shit. Why are we really here today? During the belligerent ball games stream. It's to play speedball, of course. What the fuck did you think this stream was? It's a speedball stream is what it is. It says Atari ST in the corner, though. We're playing the Amiga version. It's an Amiga game, originally. Of course it is. Same box art for every version. We're gonna play some fucking speedball! We're gonna play speedball 1 first. Then we're gonna play speedball 2. What can we say about speedball? Other than it's the greatest. DZ, thank you for the host. What can we say about Speedball other than it's the greatest future sports game ever made? I don't think that's up for debate, really. <laughs> you brutal deluxe. That's the second one. We'll get to that. Oh, it's already good. Oh, it's already so sick. Look at that angry hand. Control instructions. One player knockout, one player game. It killed the older blues, brother, yeah. Just want to sit here with these jams for a second. How's it still getting better, the music? Turn that down just a hair. I don't remember if the matches had music. I'm gonna jam for a bit. I think we hit our looping point. Actually, it's pitched up a little bit. Use the joystick to move the player in your team high hyphen lighted with the arrows. When you move the ball, press and hold the fire button for a second and throw the ball in the air. When opponent has the ball and it's in the air, press the fire button to jump and attempt a catch. Okay. We've killed the music. Now it's just angry clank. <laughs> angry clank noises. 
Bro, stop punching yourself. Bro. Put me in the league. Verna, Lacerta, and Draco. Draco. Who's the most futuristic? These are some looks. These are some hashtag looks right here. Give me this middle guy. He's got 200 power. I don't know what that means, but... It feels right. 10 weeks? 20 weeks? Ninety weeks? Actually, can we do just a... Hold on. Let me back this up. Let's do like a regular match instead of a league. We don't need to do all that. We can just do a couple. We can do a few regular matches. I think that's just knockout. One player knockout, I think, is one game. Yeah, there we go. Incredibly simple concept, this game. Take the ball, throw it into the goal. We have the green team. There's all kind of power-ups we can get. Throw that shit in. We've already scored. There's still some music in the background. Oh yeah, we got like the teleporters! <laughs> we can throw it into the teleporters. Yeah, it's very Amiga Gray. These graphics still hold up, I would say. Damn, we got scored on... Speedball 2 is definitely the one that has like... The massive legacy that Speedball in general has built up. But it had to start somewhere. And it started with a pretty simple game. Speedball 1. What a goal! Alright, it's 2-2. Two two. There's no scoreboard on screen, because it's like... Weirdly cut off. It's cut off for you on stream, but it's also cut off for me, the one playing it. I couldn't tell you why that is, but... <laughs> Amiga weirdness, who the fuck knows? What a save! No, Raccoon, even, even like the emulator is doing that is what I mean. But it's fine. We don't really need to know that much anyway for Speedball 1. That could be. Yeah, that's probably true, Tin Butt. I am not an Amiga expert. Y'all would probably know better than I. Frankly, it's not crucial information in this game's case. Always try to score diagonally. They will always catch it if you throw it straight. <laughs> So that G, I think that's more money. I think this game had, like, money you could collect. Tried to bank it off the wall and score. Yeah, it's the sensible soccer strategy as well. No! Nah. You got me. Yeah, <laughs> I speedball in. Speedball has aged so well. To this day, one of the best brutal sports games ever made. <laughs> nice car horn. Bribe official. Oh, this is what we can spend our coins on. Bribe the official, extra stamina, bribe a timer. Welcome to the fantasy. Oh, what do I want to do? Ready. I can bribe the ref? I didn't know this game had a ref. Danko, thank you for the follow. Do I bribe the referee? No. I'll never cave to authority. I'll bribe the timer, though. 
you can't select any more options. Nice halftime music, yes! How do I bribe a timer? It might be... It might have lowered the timer because we're in the lead right now. Or maybe it gave us more time. I know that we're in the lead, though. So I assume it's going to give us... I assume it's going to lower the amount of time left in this half. No! Okay, fair enough. Oh, they're cooking! Oh, yeah, no, there definitely is Slapper Pow. It's cut off for me, too, I assure you. That's alright. We'll deal. It's not an Amiga stream without some degree of emulator weirdness. I ain't sweating it too much. Give me that ball! No! Damn, that was a crazy goal! Yeah, Amiga do what Amiga does. There's so many cool Amiga games that I completely missed out on because I've never had an Amiga ever. We gotta do we gotta we gotta do a Turrican stream. The problem is Chris Hulesbeck will absolutely flag my entire VOD. <laughs> Play the non holesbeck games, then that's not that is absolutely out of the question. Uh. My goalie was afraid of the ball. He just got out of the way of the ball. He is absolutely terrified of it. That's okay. I just accidentally own gold. Your favorite sports subgenre? Yeah, so is mine. We did a we did like a dystopian hell sports uh, stream all about like PS1 future sports games. We played like Rage Ball from PS1. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Age of the Atom. Thank you for the follow. I don't think we've played any Mutant League games on stream. We should. Or hell, you know what we gotta do? We gotta play the backyard sports games. We gotta play some backyard baseball. <laughs> Big fan of this car horn. Bribe official bribe timer. Extra skill. Give me extra skill, please. So this isn't even the same team. So it's not like halves, it's just one long period. So I guess we'll do this one, and then we'll look at Speedball 2. Gotta have our annual one-on-one -on -one government stream, yeah. Every time we do a basketball stream, we always play one-on-one -on -one government. <laughs> this game, I imagine, was included on the Amiga Mini, right? 
I don't know what's actually on the Amiga Mini, but I assume... I have to assume either one or both speed balls are there. Ready? Tip off. <laughs> what a play! What a goal! Thank you, the Ultimo, for the 100 tip offs. I was about to say, at the very least, it better have Speedball 2. I never had. I never played these two Speedball games on the Amiga until much, much later in life, but, um. I did, as a kid, have. Speedball 2100 for the PS1. And I hadn't. I didn't realize at the time that it was part of a bigger series of games. Speedball 2100 on the PS1 is essentially a remake of the game we're about to play, Speedball 2. And I didn't realize that at the time. <laughs> I think they did a pretty good job with it, too. Oh, the goalie's getting good. What a pass! Speedball 2 on Genesis wasn't too bad. That version I have not played. I haven't played any version of Speedball 2 other than the Amiga one, actually. Unless we are, in fact, counting Speedball 2100 as being a version of it. Honk. Both of them are on Master System? That I had no idea. Bribe the timer. Okay, so yeah, it goes to a next, uh... Looks like it keeps going to different teams? No, this is leg two. Win or draw this game to qualify. Alright, fair enough. Let's finish the game. I guess it is two halves. Let's wrap this one up. No fire and ice on the Amiga Mini. I know that, uh... I think we streamed, like, the Christmas... We streamed, like, a Christmas version of Fire and Ice for a Christmas stream. And somehow we haven't played the regular Fire and Ice. <laughs> I've heard good things about it, too. The thing about Amiga games, a lot of them, is that... A lot of Amiga games follow the very European game design philosophy of make a very large maze-like map, absolutely literate in all kinds of objects that are essentially just score, have the player look for as many of them as possible, trying to find secrets and shit, and then eventually you just find, like, the end of a stage. Maybe you need a key for it or something. That's what, that's what strikes me as very, like, European game design. Those very big maps where it's like, alright, go find a bunch of shit. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's never been my wheelhouse. Yeah, weird puzzle concepts as well, absolutely. Another thing I usually equate with, like, European game design. Where's the scoreboard? It's on the bottom of the screen. Cut off, for some reason. That's alright. We'll be able to see it more clearly in the next game where shit works properly. 
<laughs> That's right. What was I saying? Another thing I usually equate with, like, European game design is, like, just the ugliest, like, mascot characters you've ever seen. They usually go out of their way in some fashion to be gross or weird. Like, I mean that in the nicest way possible. Yeah, grots, exactly. Like, fucking... Like, uh, Oscar. I can't... I don't know if Oscar is a... Yeah, exactly, Ultimo! Oscar the Otter, only on Amiga CD32. See, we had the same brain cell. We had the same exact brain cell there. Characters like that. Usually when I see a character I'm li uh, like that, I'm like, this is a European game. Absolutely. I can just tell. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now we're up against a new team. Alright, we get the gist of Speedball 1. Let's take a look at the one and only game. It needs no introduction. Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe! It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. This is one of the best Amiga games ever made. I don't think that's really up for debate. And I'm not even, like, an expert on the matter, but... <laughs> As far as I can tell, everybody on the planet Earth likes them some Speedball 2. To the point where this game specifically got remade at least more, like, at least twice, I would say. It's pretty good. Have a look-see, shall we? Let's look at some fucking Speedball 2. Now here's a fucking game right here. Yeah, it's Bitmap Brothers. Bitmap Joint. Port Zero switched to mouse mode. Renegade presents. There's gonna be a tune. There's no tune yet. Now there's a tune. Oh, look at this perspective! The year is 2095! Corruption and violence force the game underground. Underground speedball leagues. Yeah, absolutely, Big Bang. Unregulated and ungoverned, the game degenerates into a fiasco. <laughs> 2100. Oh, that's why I was called Speedball 2100. It all makes sense now. When's the Chaos Engine? That sounds remarkably like you're asking me for shit. Attempting to regain public interest. The sport is reorganized. Fiasco is a very British word. Usually when I hear something described as, uh, like, something is a shambles. <laughs> that sounds British to me. I don't know if it is, but I've never heard something described as a shambles from any other type of person. Is that Italian? It might be. The new team is Brutal Deluxe. Cool. I love this game. Love me some Speedball, too. Production team! Bitmap brought hers. I mean, if you're offering them, Callan, you're more than welcome. There's a strong chance I won't understand them, but you're more than, more than encouraged. One player game, please. Put me in. Knockout League Cup. 
Put me in, put me in the league. Why not? New game, team manager mode. It really is a European game. Brutal Deluxe is up against Violent Desire. Oh, look at these. Look at these boys. Incredibly good faces here. Nigel, Darren, Graham, Arnold. No relation, I'm sure. That seems fine. Oh, I can take him to the gym. Yeah, we can buy things to increase our statistics. We can buy speed boots for the whole team to increase our speed stat. Yeah, buy some of those? Okay, we bought some speed boots. What else do we want? Chest guard, power elbows. Let's buy some of those, yeah. I'd buy that for a dollar. Thunder! Gotta buy some thunder thighs. Brain boost. Nah, we don't need a bigger brain. Take some power gloves. They're so bad. Speed boots. We'll buy another one. You know, we'll buy another one. There we go. Maxed out speed. We'll buy some barge pads, too. Cool. If you hit all, it just pisses away all of your cash. Alright, I'm in. Get ready! ready. Alright, so now we got the team on the... We got the blue team. We got the blue helmets. There's multiple things that we can do in order to increase our scoring potential in this game. It's not just throw it into the goal this time. There's a few other things we can do to increase scoring potential. We can throw the ball into the stars that are on the wall, like the side of the the side of the arena. There are some stars on the wall. We can hit those to light them up. We can score points that way. We can also increase our score multiplier by throwing it into this loop. Damn, I'm trying to do a loop! So usually when you score, you get, what, like 10 points for it? Yeah, we just got scored on. Score the outage! Thank you for the 22 whole years. Yeah, they scored 10 points for that, but I think if we do the, like, loop-de-loop, -loop, we can make our goals worth, like, 15? Maybe more? Something like that. Yeah, there we go! Whoops. We've thrown it in the wrong direction. You absolutely hate to see that type of thing happen. I have super speed! At least on one person we did. They turned off my wall stars! How dare you! Turn those back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just gotta kill the goalie. Halftime. Alright, fair enough. Clankiest game of all time. It's up there. Now we're aiming downwards. Not my loop! You undid my loop! Oh, they're cooking. They're driving down the field. Not a problem. Alright, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> no! You got me. They're making a spiritual successor to Sensible Soccer? This I've not heard about, but I trust that that is accurate. Oh, what was that? <laughs> it teleported the ball to them. Yeah! Sick teleport! Almost made the craziest play of all time. We just gotta kill the goalie, that's all. Just gotta kill him. 
Oh, I almost dunked it in. Ah, uh, we didn't have enough time. Yo, TJ Dix, what's up? A win for violent desire. It's all right. Do it better, streamer. It's all right. We got the hang of it at the end there. Just got to do it better. We're in last place at the moment. Now we're up against the Rob Messiahs. All right. We only have $320. We don't got much. We can buy some bitmap shades, though. Oh, so that increases your, like, max capacity for some of your other shit. Looked like our other shit went up. Give me some more speed. Where was speed? Speed was over here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if we can turn this around. Hit those stars, baby! We almost immediately scored. That would have been sick. You know what? I'm looping. Don't bother me when I'm looping. <laughs> can I do both of them? Does it matter which one I aim at? When I'm doing loops and shit. I almost own gold. That would have been great. Ah! Just lets you do whichever one. It doesn't seem to matter. That's good. I'm sorry. The goalie just didn't catch it. That's okay. Goalie was afraid of the ball. <laughs> I just walked... I guess we were supposed to press the button there to manually catch it. That's okay. Now we know. That's a bold strategy. I'm gonna kill this goalie. Just gonna manually beat the shit out of him so that he can't catch it. Oh, I see what I can do. When I'm underneath the ball, I can jump for it. I see. What a goal! There we go! Yeah, we actually got 20 points for that because we did the uh, the loop twice. That's why it's important to build up those multipliers. Aim it at the wall things? Hold on, I got you. Aim it at so many wall things. Whoops. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they just did. You gotta hit that thing. Got it. It's good data. It's good data to have. Thankfully, their goals are only worth 10 points. Because they have not bothered doing the loop. Alright, we're up. Yeah, he said the thing. Must obtain orange ball for myself. I was not rewarded for that loop. I guess I can only have two at a time, huh? That's fair enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> we definitely moved out of the way there. We dashed the wrong way with the goalkeeper. He maxes out passing power. Oh, is that the tech? I've been putting points into speed. I don't know if it actually matters. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't going to go well. It's a high-scoring game compared to the previous one. Well, they made my entire team fall down with that maneuver. Yeah, a good assist there. Oh, they scored two points for hitting it off the, uh... 
Little bouncy thing. Little bouncy guy. We're not gonna have enough time. Yeah, so we gotta prioritize some of these, like, little bells and whistles in order to maximize scoring potential, I understand. So, alright, we're gonna turn this league around, don't you worry. Super Nashwan has 44 points in Division 1. Somehow we're doing better than Revolver. We're doing better than Violent Desire, too. I guess it's based on how many total points you get. Mean Machine still has a fat goose egg. But we still haven't won a game. We have to win a game. Gotta win games. Uh, fix? What is there to fix? Oh, I see. Never mind, I understand. Throwing power is what we need. Power elbows. I want to have the strongest elbows of all time. Cool. Cool, cool. Get ready. Up against Baroque. Baroque got translated into English recently. How dare you loop my loop! Damn, he's good. Oh, oh, what a save! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just gotta hit it. Just gotta throw it at some dank ass angles that they can't reach in time. Give me that coin. Okay. The stars can be. The stars are like temporary points, yeah, because they can be negated by the opposing team hitting the stars as well. Yeah, you gotta hit him with the Dutch angle throws. Let me undo one of your loops. Brother, may I have some loops? We've collected body armor, but I don't know what it did exactly. <laughs> they just got, like, six points by hitting that thing. Understood. Alright, up to halftime. Maybe that's where we should aim more. Just bounce it off the goddamn bouncy thing. Aim for this bad boy. Whoop. Yeah, we actually get score for that. Might as well. Oh, I killed the goalie! Yeah, just fucking just bulldoze the goalie. Why not? <laughs> just fucking destroy him and dunk it. Whoops. Auto fire enabled. Turn that back off. There we go. I forgot they mapped that to left trigger. We accidentally hit left trigger. Yeah, just killing the goalie is probably what we should be doing more often. How dare you. How dare you turn on your wall stars. Oh no! My goalie moved out of the way. Yeah, brutal deluxe action. I don't think they're gonna get any more than 10 points, yeah. Generally, the more, like, loops you do on the wall, the more, the, like, fatter your multiplier gets when you do score. So it's important to have, like, the loop advantage so that your, your goals are worth, like, 15, maybe even 20. 
Oh, he teleported the ball to himself! <laughs> it's a good thing my aim is really bad. Hey, we still won, though. I'll take that. Yeah! It was all worth it, just for that image. Just for the... Just for those faces is all worth it. Alright, we're not in last place anymore. In Division 2. What are we up to? We're up to 5th place in the league. That's a net positive. <laughs> now we're up against Damocles. We only have so much money. What to purchase? Let's buy some intelligence. Let's buy a brain boost or two. I'm going all in on brain power. We still have enough for bitmap shades. Cool. What do you suppose increasing your brain does in this game? What did I do just now by giving my team more intelligence? I assume that makes their AI better. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. No, my loops. You stop looping. It's my loop. You piece of shit. <laughs> now we're playing speedball and we're just fighting over the goddamn loops. Teaching them the input read the other team. That could be. Yeah, they scored 20 because they had two loops there. Gotta get an injury at some point. We just gotta kill the other team. That's all you gotta do. Just literally kill them. He's dead. Oh, that was almost sick. <laughs> Eat shit, goalie. <laughs> Who's buying ice cream at the speedball game? Is that the food of choice? Is that what you're buying at the game? You're getting ice cream at the speedball game? There's gotta be something more brutal to buy at the game. Alright, we're doing alright. Did he just try to unstar my star, but he missed? Nah! Alright, fair enough. That's gonna be another 20 points, I think. Yeah. Get ready. I think this game is only eight ways, Goaty. Then again, I'm far from an expert. Oh, cool, that went in. its tray, then go diagonal during the animation. Oh, I see. 
we're not gonna have enough time to pull this one back. Is the box art the tick in disguise? You figured you cracked the code. That's why we're playing this today. A win for Damocles. Let's see where that puts us. We're down to sixth in the league. We're gonna have to grind our way up. That's all right. Grind we shall. That's how you get gooder at things, is you get cooked in them. Bigger brain. More brain. I'm gonna have the smartest team in the league. Yo, the tick! Marry me with my money. Spoon. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 spoons, tick. No! My defense is lacking. <laughs> that guy just kind of walked right in with no repercussions. Nobody stopped him. They're just like, right this way, sir. Here's that goal you ordered. Too high! Eat shit! Yeah, level grind ball, it's okay. The only way to get good at speedball is you gotta become a real pro speedballer. Not just anybody can be a speedballer. It takes an immense brain. Oh. Apparently my goalkeeper has none, so he just kind of let that happen. <laughs> He's just like, right this way, sir. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Get back here! Oh, big stars! Another one. Nah, but another one, though. That was an investment. <laughs> if goalkeeper was on break, it's alright. We got two loops, though. That was an investment in the future. Now we just gotta score one goal and we're back in the lead. That's a big if, though. Considering I ain't that great at scoring in this game. Oh no. Where's my team? Alright. No stars for you, friend. Wait, that's illegal! Okay. All right, all right. Loops. I can do no more loops. There were no more loops to conquer. There we go. There's our big, thick score. That should be worth 20 points. Yes. Everyone's dying. The planet's dying, Cloud. Oh, that was a good save. <laughs> that was the most aggressive goal. Just fuck this guy. Throw it to the goalkeeper. Fuck the goalkeeper. I figured it out. 
No, nah, no Paul Heyman in this game, sadly. I figured out the meta. It's just to bulldoze everybody that's directly in front of you. Yes! Drinks on me. Yeah, pass them the ball and then immediately run them over. Is that the meta? You just give them the ball and then you tackle them? I guess that's what we're supposed to do, yeah. The out-of-frame bottle, yeah. <laughs> How much money did we get? $720. What do we want? More defense, maybe? Let's get some more power. I don't know what that does for us exactly, but... Let's pump it up. More... Attack as well. Whatever the hell that does. It felt right. Hulk smash, yeah. Steel Fury. We're not real. We weren't really that rich. We only had like seven hundred bucks to our name. The sounds of people dying off screen. Oh, that's what it is. It's it's whenever the goalie is on screen, it suddenly gives you control of them. So you have to like take care to not move because the goalie's already like where they're supposed to be that's what's been going on now that we have that piece of information <laughs> we should hopefully do a little better loops it was worth it it's worth it taking that hit for the loops Nope. Here, take it. Oh no, the goal, he's too smart! He didn't want to take the ball. Uh. There we go. Now the next time we score, it'll be worth 20! We tried to bank it off the wall, but we threw it too high! Alright. Half time. You wonder if power helps in terms of would you knock a guy over? That could be. It's not 100% clear, but it's probably in the manual, I suppose. Try to bulldoze him. Just tried. I tried to run his ass over. Oh, these guys are faster than me. That guy was moving. He was cooking. We also seem to have gotten frozen in place for a second. I'm not sure which pickup that was. Yeah, what's a manual? I'm sure there's a manual, but... That's alright. Hey! Ow! You unstarred my star! How dare you! Ugh. This game has incredibly satisfying immediate feedback when anything happens. Like, you'll feel like you're completely in control, and then you just immediately eat shit. <laughs> there we go. We threw it in. Yeah. We won at the very end. Seven seconds left, and we scored just barely. We're still in sixth place in the league, though. We have three wins and three losses. Let's do another one. <laughs> this game's really fun. 
We only have three hundred dollary dues. We have to raise our stamina, maybe. We'll buy both of those. We were lacking. I'm not sure what those do. It felt right to spend my money on that. It felt good. Must become pro speedballer. We're never going to be a pro speedballer at this rate. Oh. <laughs> it became lethal to the touch. Hey, we got two free points for that. We did the thing again. It gave us control of the, uh... It gave us control of the goalkeeper when I was not prepared for it and he moved out of the way. <laughs> that's the one thing that's been fucking me up consistently. Like, please don't give me control of the goalkeeper. I don't trust... I don't trust myself down there next to the goal. <laughs> Oh my god, that was messy! <gasps> Yo, what's up, Ash? Yeah, we're playing some speedball right now. You unlooped my loop! Alright. You love this game? So do I. This game's fantastic. Goalie will randomly dive if you press nothing. Alright, we gotta press nothing. The winning move is not to play. My points. Alright. My stars. My stars. There's more than one way to score in this game. My stars. <laughs> what is the O big from? That's from a uh, metal slug. Yeah, that one, that's from Metal Slug. Now we're cooking. So when you hit all the stars, that's like permanent points, yeah? You get like 10 points that they can't take away by unstarring your stars. We should be, we should have been doing that shit. We should have been aiming at these bad boys. Ah, oh, you got me. 39 points. <laughs> My loops. Mine! The loop is mine! Another one. Fuck you. My loops. No! Alright, we did it. <laughs> the no is from, uh... What was it? Chaos Break? Chaos Heat? I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Chaos Break. Alright, so... The tech is to not go for the goal. The tech is to just hit stars for points. Oh, we're up to fourth place in the league. We actually bumped up a bit. Yeah, I agree, Malice. This game is very immediately satisfying. More defense. That's what we need. Eh, eh, eh. Cool. Cool, cool.
We should collect more money while we play. We should go for those coins to get more money. Oh, we're going down first this time. You took my coin! All right. Mine. Mine. The stars are mine. Okay. I think the stars give you more points, too, if you have, like... If you've done a few loops first, I think they're worth more. It's like a score multiplier on everything, not just getting a goal. So, like, hitting all these little bells and whistles is actually incredibly worth it. I'm understanding the, uh... I'm understanding how the game wants me to play it. It's not just going for goals. Woo! What a save! Another one. Oh, I tried to do something fancy. I was not rewarded for it. Get ready. You want to play Speedball 1? Yeah, they're both pretty sick. The only one I was familiar with, really, before, like, recently, was Speedball 2100 for the PS1. It's like a remake of this game, as far as I'm aware. Oh no, I am for the other stars now. So now I'm aiming upwards, so I gotta aim for the stars on the left. Winning the game without ever scoring a goal is an achievable thing. I, I imagine it is, yeah. Your win condition's not just the goal, it's also like all the stars, all the other random shit that can score you points. Nice! Bulldoze him. Just get him out of here. <laughs> oh, that's a weird throw. They're still playing with balls, Black Shield Legion. 5-7. We're winning by a considerable margin. Feeling pretty good about it. I think we've finally figured out what the fuck we're doing. Yeah, we've streamed Dead Ball Zone before. It's, uh... That game's on PS1. Game's pretty sick. I have fallen down. Okay. It's gonna be a clean 72 to nothing victory. Space God Dio, thank you for the host. A win for Brutal Deluxe. 72 points. What are we up to? We're still in fourth. Five and three. Fatal Justice has seven wins and one loss, apparently. We're up against Baroque again. The DBC acronym's not far off. We'll do a few more. Pump up stamina. It's been behind. Thunder thighs are very expensive, though. This game, we've got to come back to and do like a full, do like a full league run. I think that would be fun. I've collected a helmet. What did it do? We'll never know. Trade players. 
Nah, I'm good. I got confidence in these boys. Hold that thought. Hold on. Excuse me. Eh? No, I need more stars. Don't you dare interrupt me. I did the thing again. AI gambling tournament. We did do, we, we did open the new yen casino once today. We opened the new yen casino to place a bet on a killer ball game. Damn it. Money. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's a good place to bank it off the wall then. Keep the goalie busy. Get ready. Yeah, I thought there was like a team manager mode, right? It was in the menus, like a team management simulator. Damn, I really fell for that. We really fell for that shit. My easy points. Yep. Get, get ready. You don't think it has anything special? It's just watch and upgrade and recruit. Ah, whoops. I'm throwing it upwards now. I can't believe that shit reached the loop. That's all right. Give me over here to these stars, though. Yeah. It's not quite what I was aiming for. <laughs> Accidentally mating, uh, accidentally making great plays. Accidentally mating great plays, that's even better. Oh my god, the goalie caught something. I've never seen the goalie catch a ball before, this is exciting. This is like the most hectic Amiga game. I've played in quite some time. Absolute chaos. And yet it's very relaxing somehow. It's very therapeutic. Get, get ready. Yeah, I agree with that. It's chaotic enough, but still readable. Unlike a few games today, uh, like Killer Ball, which is just absolute chaos, you can barely tell what's happening. That's four good faces on the screen. That was, that was four good faces there. Oh, yeah, we can transfer. We can trade dudes. What if I get rid of this guy? I don't think it lets me. Oh, I can buy them. I see. They have prices. Oh, my God. <laughs> Their stats are absurd. These guys have been juicing. All right, well, we can't afford any of these people. Back to the gym we go.
Big brain. Huge brain. Mine. Mine. No! Fuck. And they got 15 points for that because they did a loop? Unacceptable. They did the loop de loop. Yeah, absolutely hate to see that type of thing happen. Just stand perfectly still while the goalie attempts to stop things from happening. There we go. 20 points. <sighs> 24 points. We don't even have to aim for the goalie. We don't even got to aim for the goal. We can just aim at all this random bullshit. More stars. More stars. Yes! I'm going back. Huh. <laughs> what, your goalie is too good? Not a problem. I'll render your goalie worthless by just aiming elsewhere. You better be defending these stars. That's what I'm really aiming for. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the loops add the, uh... The loops add, like, a score multiplier to everything, not just, like, scoring a goal. So it probably makes the stars worth more as well. I'm going for that loop. No! All right, I've undone their loop. We have erased the damage. And yeah, that goalkeeper was aggressive. Granted, I was trying to do the exact same shit. I was trying to give him the ball so I could tackle him and score. There we go. Just here, hold this. Hold this ball for a second. <laughs> this game's fucked up. You can do some incredibly rude things in this game. I'm not even sure who took out the goalie there. Oh, it was the other guy. Wait, no, he just fell down. He tripped. I see the inspiration in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I see where it came from now. Goalie just fucking tripped. Shoelaces were tied together. I passed it to myself! I don't know how that worked. That wasn't supposed to work, but somehow it worked. Another one. Damn. Yes, Despatch. I won't lie. Uh, yes. <laughs> Was this entire stream a roundabout way to play Speedball 2? Yes. I lied, I'm doing another one. I said this was going to be the last one, but I lied. We're definitely doing another one. We're up to third place! Yeah, let's do another one. Local streamer has too much fun. Wants to keep playing. Yeah, now we're starting a game. Now we're fucking cooking. We're gonna do some loops, and then we're gonna hit some stars, and it's gonna be worth tremendously large amounts of points. 
a quest for enormous puntos. No, I missed. All right. You unstarred my star, you bitch! Not a problem. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's a weird interaction. They're getting aggressive. They've caught on to my schemes. Oh, that's bad. Okay, it's fine. Everything's under control, maybe. Hey, we accidentally hit a star. Wasn't exactly aiming for one there. It's a really aggressive game of hot potato, yeah. That's a good way to describe speedball, I think. Oh no, I tripped! That's okay, we're winning. It ain't no thing. No! How dare you. I will not stand for this illegal loopage. You've already done the maximum loops. They went for more. Does this mean Lethal League is a speedballer division? Yeah, I think so. I think that's accurate to say. They have two loops in play. I don't like it. They could win at any moment by scoring. Unless I just mash buttons right in their fucking face to give the goalkeeper the ball and then immediately tackle him. <laughs> Oh, we just gotta hold them for, like, seven seconds? We're fine. You can't score in time. Yeah, there we go. They got greedy. They really did, though. Yes! I think we accidentally played this game for, like, an hour. <laughs> I think we played this game for, like, an hour just now. <laughs> Having way too much fun playing speedball too. Now we gotta get out of here. We've been play we've been streaming for like five and a half hours. We're gonna come back to speedball too at some point. We're gonna do like a whole league at some point. Uh not today though. That's about all the time I have today. We're gonna be back on Friday, I think. I don't think I have anything going on on Friday. Thank you. Is how we get into sports ball streams, yeah. Thank you everyone who came out to today's stream. This is a bit of a weird one, but thank you everyone who stuck around. Uh, thank you everyone who hosted, rated, subscribed. Let's see who's streaming. Fox Andrews playing King's Quest! Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, why not? Get out of town. Yo, thank you Black Shield Legion for the quarter. Raid Vox Andrew. Throw scoots at her. She's playing King's Quest? Throw scoots at her. If you don't got Dino scoot, throw rack attacks at her. We'll be back on Friday with other things. Not sure what. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye bye.